Yes. Uh, so let me just first go through the agenda. Uh, before going to the agenda, there are a lot of parents who actually uh, don't know us. So let me just give a one minute overview about who we are. So we are Glacta Tutoring. We are an East London based tutoring platform. Uh, we do tuition services from year two to A levels and we do uh, 11 plus and GCSE mocks as well, face to face and on online. And we pretty much cover all the boards. Uh, so the agenda for today is uh, we are going to cover the CAF. And then the second very, very important point is the school selection strategies. And then the forum will be open for the parents to ask the question and answers. So we are going to be covering all the questions as much as possible. Uh, so I think most of the parents have joined. Oh, no. Uh, we have got more than 150 uh, registered and there are only 61. But it's again two, min two minutes past seven. So uh, we should start. Uh, this is going to be the main CAF a workshop agenda. Uh, the, the, we will be talking about CAF, what CAF is, why do we need it? And then we will be uh, covering the step uh, by step guide, then strategies, and then information on appeal process and waitlisting. And in the end, we are going to be asking uh, and covering the, the question and answer. Uh, first thing is why, what is CAF? So CAF is the common application uh, form, which is actually used for all the secondary uh, admissions across all the boroughs, counties in UK. And it is a process to actually streamline the admissions because there are vast number of state schools, there are vast number of grammar schools, and uh, there are a lot of academies as well. So how are we going to be uh, making sure that the process, the, the, the information which we are going to get from the different parents, uh, they should be uh, properly processed and then based on the ranking order of each and individual parent, the, the, the overall application is processed by the local counties and then the outcome is actually sent to all the parents on the offer day. So normally it is 1st of March, but this year it is gonna be 3rd of March, okay? Uh, two very, very important things which we uh, put in the CAF form. One is the standard information, like what is the detail of uh, the applicant, the kids detail, where do you live? Uh, what is the education history? If you have got any special education need, like your kid is in SAN, EFCP, or LAC, LAC, all these kind of different categories, then you fill all the details in the CAF form. The second very important thing is actually the ranking. So ranking is important because in the ranking order, you choose your uh, schools. Uh, and uh, let me first, there are a lot of, uh, waiting okay so what you what you do in the ranking order is actually you just do the research of all the all the all of your target schools and then you put them in a ranking like this is my order of one order two order three order three order four like this and when i say order one order two all these these are your top schools which you like most and then the next one which you like second most and so on uh, there is very important thing which you need to uh, remember here is that every uh, county has got different number of uh, preferences. So uh, when I say preferences, like options, basically. So in this ranking options, some of the counties give you the option, let's say, to fill six schools, which you can fill in the ranking order. But in some of the counties, it is three. So in some of the counties, it is two. Oh, sorry, uh, four. So it, it, is, it is not exactly matching. So most of the London boroughs, for example, has got uh, six uh, total preferences, which you fill in the CAF. Okay. So next thing is uh, actually what why CAF is important. So there are two very important things which you need to make sure uh, that uh, you, you know before filling the CAF is the first thing is all the parents do a lot of research, right? So uh, when I say research, uh, research means they uh, first uh, choose their target uh, schools. And then after once they, they selected the schools, they go to the open days in the school. They try to find out the, the curriculum 
criteria, like different number of subjects which are actually taught in the school, and then how the environment is there in the school, and uh, what is uh, other extracurricular activities happening in the school, what kind of music, uh, whether all the things are flexible. So there are a lot of a lot of uh, things basically which uh, you uh, do, and uh, as a part of this, you also normally make sure that uh, once you are done with your basic research, right, which is more related to the academics, then you start taking care of the other things which we are going to be covering in the school selection strategy. So that will be helpful. Uh, the third thing which is actually considered from the government point of view or from the local body point of view is the fairness. So the CAF system, what it, uh, it ensures is all the application, once they uh, get it, they basically start processing them and make sure that whatever ranking order you have filled in the CAF, they are allocated based on the consultation with the, the with your target council or local council. And if the schools are not available, then they try to find out the best option for you uh, themselves. So that's how the whole thing actually works. And uh, once that is done. So this is this is actually pretty much. Uh, I think uh, let me cover first this like how the whole CAF fits into the school selection and admission process. So sorry uh, guys, I'm side by side actually adding uh, the the participants as well. So kind of a little bit distracting, but uh, there are multiple points when you do uh, to make sure the CAF is actually properly filled. The first thing we talked about is the research and uh, decision making. So before completing the CAF, the parents typically uh, research all the various schools, their offerings, culture, results. And then they also, so, uh, like for example, a lot of schools are currently doing open uh, uh, meetings, right? So they, you can book them, go there, uh, visit the school and see the culture there, talk to the local parents, talk to the students to get better idea. So this is part actually, this is the part of the number one where you are doing researching and then try to come up uh, uh, on a decision uh, making, right? So this is the first process. Once the parents have made their decisions, they, they kind of like the target schools, they, they come to the, uh, like filling the ranking order, then they first do, they do their, uh, they talk to their kid, they talk to their friends and everyone, and then try to feel like this is gonna be my number one, priority school, this is going to be my number two priority school. So basically, you, you are creating that list before 31st of October, which is like the final deadline of uh, filling the cap, right? Uh, so once you have this uh, ranking order, then what you uh, do, you basically go to your local county uh, uh, admission website, which is a secondary uh, school admission website, and you start actually filling the uh, details there. So there is one very important point you need to uh, remember that don't do, don't try to do it at the last day, like on 31st of October, because what actually happened uh, last to last year, like the whole, the whole website was kind of down. So it was not available for a couple of hours and uh, all the parents got panic. So try to fill it before actually 31st of October. So maybe like 28, 29, 30, uh, when you are uh, like happy with all the priorities which you have filled. Okay, any questions so far, guys? If you want to ask any question, you can ask. Okay, so let's jump on the next one. So uh, what when you fill the uh, form, there is one important thing which you need to make sure here is uh, the deadline we already covered that for secondary uh, school admission, the deadline is 31st of October. And for uh, primary schools, it is January. But one very important thing you need to make sure is when you are done with the, the, the uh, filling of the uh, CAF, you basically take the printouts as well. You, you just uh, create the PDF and save it somewhere uh, for your record. So in case of, let's say, the outcome is not appropriate to your expect expectation, then what you can do, you can use those particular details. You, you will need those details during the appeal process. Okay. So the one very important uh, point, you need to make sure you keep the uh, copy of the records which you have filled in the CAF uh, website, okay? So uh, fourth is the 
allocation of the uh, places. So in this, what normally happen, the local uh, authorities after 31st of October, they start actually processing the applications. Uh, they do it and they try to find out like what is your uh, priority order and based on the priority order, they will start sending your details, your uh, details to the target uh, uh, council, right? So if let's say I'm living in uh, Redbridge Council and in my priority order, I filled maybe Kent or I have filled maybe Essex or uh, some X like Latimer or uh, somewhere else then in that case, the local county has got my information because I have filled the form in the local county, right? So my Redbridge Council, what it will do, it will just look at my priority order and see which one is the number one priority school, right? So it will take that and go to that. So let's say the number priority, one priority school is the Barnet Council, okay? So they will go, to, they will just ask the Barnet Council to and they will send your details like this is the kid name and this is the score they have got and you are put as a number one priority. So they are not going to send them the priority order, but they will say, you are you happy to allocate the place to this kid or not? And then from that uh, Barnet Council, the information will be coming back. Yeah, we are happy or we are not. If the they are, they are saying that we are not happy and we are not allocating, then they will go to the next priority order and then so on until like the number six or number fifth whatever priority order you have put so there is a always a golden rule which you need to make sure is that one of the school you put as a as a uh, as a like final uh, maybe a state school or any school which is kind of confirmed just for the just to make sure if none of your uh, targeted schools have allocated the place to your kid at least you have guaranteed place in one of the last one which you have put in the priority order right so make sure at least there is one particular uh, school where you can consider as a confirmed place. Okay. Now, uh, then the fifth point is the offer day, which is like 3rd of March this year. So all the all, all the parents receive a, a plas like placement offer on their uh, uh, forms. So where whichever uh, local county uh, website you have used to create your uh, account, you will go there and just see uh, what is the uh, allocation order. So whether you have got your first priority, second priority and so on. Okay, so make sure uh, you also note down your user credentials of the account somewhere. Otherwise, then uh, the parents normally just fill it now and in March, they will completely forget which emails they used, which what was the password. So make sure you, you keep all these uh, details somewhere uh, safe so that on national offer day, you can uh, basically use them. Now, the sixth very important point is the acceptance of the offered place or actually rejected. So the, once they allocate the places to you, you have the option and they will be basically asking you whether you are happy with this uh, placement or you want you whether you want to accept it or you want to reject it. And based on that, you the, the next process will be started. So if you, let's say you are happy, I, I, I put uh, my uh, number one priority school in the CAF order and I got it for my kid. So I'm very happy. So what I will say, I will just accept it. So the moment I accept it, all the other uh, priorities which I put in the priority order are kind of just gone. So they, the, the, the county will say this parent and the kid has got its place now. So let's take them out of the school admission process. And if you try to do any change there, maybe in the CAF after 31st, or let's say you accept it and then you reject it, then what the problem will be, you will be put in the waiting list. So don't make this mistake because if you do it, then it is very hard to get the, 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 the same previous allocated seats to you or not. You, it, it's basically next to impossible. So make sure either you accept it or reject it, right? Uh, now we quickly cover uh, the different school. Uh, it's, it's basically uh, the, this uh, slide is talking about in different counties, how many number of schools you can put. So for example, in all the London boroughs, you have six preferences. So you can put six schools in, uh, in the order or in CAF. And basically there is a common e-admission.org. UK website for SX again six, Surrey six, 
and so on. So the, the lowest is in the Slough, East Sussex and West Sussex because they all, all, only give you the three uh, preferences which uh, you can maximum use in the CAF. And these are the uh, different uh, uh, CAF URLs for the local county. So I'm going to share the, that also uh, in the chat channel. Uh, let no, me... Hi, hi yeah. Gaurav. Yeah, Rajesh. Uh, one question, sorry. Uh, so uh, in between, if we are moving from one council to another council, right? For yeah. example, before 31st of October. So mm -hmm. uh, what is wise? I mean, whether we should do it uh, from the current council or I mean, we should do it from the uh, council which we are going to move in. Say if I oh. have a I have a uh, rent agreement and everything for the next council, in the next council which I'm moving. So what is what is what you suggest? Uh, it doesn't matter, Rajneesh, to be honest, because okay. uh, when you move the council, what you need to just say, you need to just shoot an email to your old council and they will actually uh, initiate the transfer process. So you, okay. you won't even know about all these. So they will automatically send your application and all the details to your, uh, uh, like the future council, wherever you have moved or planning to move. And then locally, they will basically send all, uh, uh, basically they will follow the same process which your local council could have uh, followed earlier. So you okay. will just start receiving the emails and then you they will be asking you about the rental agreement in few months time. They will be asking about utility bills or maybe kids detail, like where, where wherever you put your kid, uh, which school it is going, all these kind of things, basically. Okay, so basically yeah. it is wise to do it uh, from the current council itself and they will it's do better. later it's on. Better because you will have peace of mind uh, when you yeah. there are a lot of extra things which normally you need to I get, know, I know. Right? Yeah, guys, that's why that's why I was take concerned. Take all about... these questions. Let me quickly finish okay, this okay. Uh, calf, uh, and so that you understand the process, and then we will start taking all the uh, question. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, so these are the different uh, calf uh, county-wise URLs. So I will circulate the links. Uh, okay. So this is just step-by-step -step guide to filling the calf. What you do normally, you go to the the local LA Secondary uh, Council website, and then you start reading the instruction. Make sure you read the instructions carefully because every council has got different rules and regulations. So they are not common. So don't do like this. My friend has filled these details in his council and probably I will be following the same in my council too. So don't do that kind of mistake. Make sure always you understand the instructions and you read them end to end. Right. Once you uh, read it properly, then you start actually putting your personal details. So you like uh, your kid's name, your current address, date of birth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Once you fill all these, the third, the, the next very important category is actually the special consideration. So in this, what normally uh, we as a parent do, we we provide the details of any kid who has got some uh, special needs, right? So they, like you, they they have got any EHCP plan or they have got any SEN educational needs or they are from uh, like uh, uh, child care like local authority based or previous uh, authority based so all these these kind of things they need to fill because the the reason of putting these details here is so that the council is actually aware of all the special needs required for the kid and they will then start arranging these uh, uh, making basically the adjustments in the 11 plus uh, overall end to end journey for that kid so these includes like even uh, they have the highest priority. So in case of EHCP, they have the highest priority. And if the kid has got EHCP, even they don't uh, worry about the 11 plus score that much. So they just look at the basic things because it's it's their right. Uh, it's it's their, uh, as per the law, they, they need to be provided the best education. Okay. Now, once you put all these details, then you uh, just put your school preferences in the priority. Okay. Uh, first, Highest priority school will be number one and then so on. So don't like reverse it. Otherwise you will have trouble. Uh, next scheme we are talking about. Uh, okay. In some of the counties, what they ask is they also ask for the, the preference. Like why are you putting this uh, school as a highest priority and then this and this. So uh, things like sibling criteria, normally some parents put, some parents uh, might put uh, faith, some uh, uh, nearest school is another one of the major important point uh, a lot of parents say that this is very uh, close to my place so all these things just think about it and then 
just put some valid uh, reasons there. Uh, some uh, because this is one of the important things some counties actually uh, look at. Uh, some of the counties also give preference to the sibling. So this is one of the special case, especially if you talk about the SW herds, right? So they consider it. And they also there are a couple of schools uh, in West Midlands and on and that area as well. They consider sibling and they give the priority to, to, to those kids, right? So make sure if they, your kid is already going in uh, some of the schools in that local county, then you put their details as well because it will speed up and... Uh, they, they, it will kind of like increase your chances of the places allocation. So this is very important. Uh, then in some of the counties, uh, actually they ask it during the CAF. So it, it is called SIF. So SIF is like special uh, supplementary information form. And what it does is it uh, you basically mention the details like faith details or uh, especially if they need some extra uh, like income, uh, below income category, all these kind of things are normally go in the SIF form. And normally, I think they they also, some of the counties take the details during the 11 plus forms filling, right? When you fill the form for 11 plus exams, they also ask the details for, let's say, if you take the example of CCHS, uh, which is in Chelmsford. So they, they you don't need to explicitly fill another uh, SIF form because they have already got this data when you fill your 11 plus form, okay? Now, in the end, make sure at least two, three times proofread whatever you have put. You do the check thoroughly with maybe extra yeah. pair of eyes, husband, wife, both. Make sure every single detail is accurate there. Uh, and then once you are happy and uh, let's say you have checked it two, three times, then you go and actually submit the form. So make sure this is rigorously followed. Okay. Some more parents. Okay. Uh, now, once you submit it, right? So once you submit your CAF, uh, then make sure you keep the copies for uh, your personal record and also as an acknowledgement, you will also get the email from your local uh, county that you have filled these details. And uh, if you want to do any change, let's say I, I filled some, something uh, based on today's scenario, but uh, tomorrow I get to know that 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 other school is better in X Y Z reason. Maybe your kid uh, liked it earlier, but he is saying or she is saying like I want to go to another school. Now you need to change this priority order. So anything like that, you need to make sure you do it always before thirty first of October, because if you do it after thirty first October, then it will be considered as a late application, and if it is late then you won't be basically getting your uh, uh, places confirmed by uh, national offer day. It will be quite late. It might be maybe in the second list or, or something like that. So any change you want to do always, please, please make sure you do it before 31st of October. Okay. Uh, in some of the cases, I think they you, what you need to do, you need to call the local council to do this. Uh, changes because they don't allow you to do it online. So you need to basically send them email and then tell them all the preferences and everything. So whatever you decide, please do it before 30th October and no matter how many times you do your brainstorming to keep your schools in priority order, make sure when you put it in the uh, cap, it is actually the full and final list. Okay. Don't try to change it. Otherwise it, it will cause trouble after 31st. Okay. Uh, then the, the last point is just wait for the outcome on the national offer day. Uh, there is also very important tip which is helpful for a lot of parents like during this whole application process. Please go and attend the open days, speak to the current parents and understand each school specific criteria. For when I say school specific criteria, so for example, if you go to uh, some of the Kant schools, right? Or if you go to some of the, I think, uh, Reading schools, so they, they follow regress uh, IB pattern, right? Which is like quite broad uh, in, in uh, compared to your GCSE and A-levels, which is UK-wise standard. So these are the things which will make you informed and actually help you taking better decisions. Okay. Now we jump on the next one is school selection strategies. Uh, any questions so far, guys? 
Yeah, hi. Uh, I have one question. Yeah, Bala. Uh, so you mentioned if we submit the CAF uh, application form in our local council and uh, whatever the schools we have selected, right? So for example, if, if uh, I'm part of Hounslow Council, if I put a school name which is in a certain council or in a different council, so yeah. this request will be forwarded and checked with the council only and not with the school, uh, right? Uh, right? Is it what you mentioned? So, so CAF is always specific to uh, council. Okay. Because it, is the, it is the responsibility of the council to allocate the school uh, seats to your uh, kids. It is not school's responsibility. Actually, schools won't even get to know about it. Whether you actually have applied uh, and put what is the preference in your priority order, all these things, they don't know about it. The council will just say, okay, this is the case who has given you exam. This is his or her uh, total score. Are you happy to give the seat or not? That's it. So basic minimal information is normally shared with the schools. Okay. Okay. So, um, so some schools have this uh, catchment area specific uh, seats, right? So, uh, seats allocated. Yeah, yeah. For... Pala, we will, we will cover all, all these uh, in the Q and A session, but give me okay. another, maybe five, 10 minutes. Let me quickly cover all these and then we will uh, start covering those questions. Okay. Uh, Sorry, uh, 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 only than... one question. Uh, yeah, uh, you mentioned about late application, right? So uh, this is, this late application is, uh, totally, if we didn't apply before 31st and we right. apply only after 31st, then it is considered as late application. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. okay. Thank you. Uh, so, so, so I want to mention about the CAP form. So, I heard that like in CAP form, we only be submit the school preference by 30th of August. But after that, uh, there is a possibility of change the address in CAP form. Is it true or is it wrong? Yes. So, in the when, when there is a change in the address proof, Right. That will be actually done by the local county. So you will just shoot them an email saying that, uh, guys, we have moved from our that old county to the new. So you just need to provide them your new address and your new uh, county. Right. And then they you will uh, be uh, basically they will be asking you, can you uh, then the old council will send all the details to your new council and the new council will be asking you. Uh, you give me your rental agreement, give me your utility bills, all these kind of things. Okay. So there is different councils have different cut up dates. Like for so, so so do I need to inform the both the council or only like uh, no, no, you only you can do there is no harm in uh, basically updating both the council. But normally if you do uh, update your old council, they will actually take care of all the transformation process. All the transfer process, they will take care of it and keep you updated. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. And allocation will be uh, considered in the initial round only, even for the address yeah. change after yeah, 31st yeah. October. Okay. Your application will be considered in the initial round until and unless you are before the cutoff date of your target council where you have moved. Okay. So, okay. for example, if Kant movement date is 8th of December and I moved on, let's say, 7th of December or 8th of December before 12 p.m. night then my i'm still in the uh, on time application okay okay if i move after it then i'm gone okay a quick question uh, I have... so i'm i'm filling up uh, the cap form um uh, guys come come on be on camera it it's it's good to interact right yeah but it's it's, yeah. it's totally your choice yeah so so quickly um um, I say I live in London Borough where I have six six choices uh, to fill up the schools uh, and I'm moving to say for example Slough where only three choices are available mm -hmm. will the CAF uh, be treated in Slough um, so will the will the first three uh, preference I gave for example I'm moving from Brent to Slough Brent has six preferences that I can give. Correct. And I move to Slough, which has three. Will they take the top three or will the council ask mm -hmm. for choice? Top three. Top three the, the lower uh, third three choices will go away. They are kind of trashed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Cool. Uh, so school selection strategies. Uh, so these are I have one last question for related to CAF. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, Sopna, tell me. Yeah. So when we prioritize the schools in our CAF, Yes. Um, you mentioned that 
when we whenever the top place top school is been offered will mm -hmm. that be a sequential order or when the yeah. top school or the rank one school has been offered the other schools will they be still be contacted or no if you accept then they won't be contacted they you will be taken out of that particular uh, list okay if but in general accept... when we apply will they be contacting all different councils at the same time i mean say for example i'm applying for a council or council mm -hmm. uh, to sutton or to some other councils like barnet Mm -hmm. Will all the application will the information will be sent simultaneously regarding different schools? No. Or it will be a sequential order? It will be sequential order. Once they get from like yes or no from the first one, if it's a yes, they stop. If it's a no, then they you will automatically be put, uh, putting in the waiting list for that. Okay. And the next uh, uh, whichever priority two is given, they will go to that next priority. And then they will again, whatever priority, like whichever council is that related to, they will go to that particular one. So if it is like the same certain, then so certain. Yes, sir. 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 Guys, just uh, 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 raise raise the hand, please. Uh, whoever want to, uh, uh, I think some of the parents hi. just. Hi, uh, hi, Gaurav. So basically, just one question regarding uh, CAF. Yeah. If I'm in a council wherein I can put six choices. Yeah. Is it is it mandatory to put one of the choices of the same council even if I have no. to move to the other council? No. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's quickly first cover uh, school selection strategies. The first very important is assess your kid's needs and interests. Understand what your kid like, how, what is his or her strength, what kind of academics they want, what kind of extracurricular activities they want to do in their target schools, whether the infra is good. So all these things, just, just try to uh, talk to your kids and uh, make sure that they, they know what or which school they, they are going to go with. And then I think it will be better uh, and they, they would really like if you just include them in the decision. Uh, the second thing is define your priorities. So when I say uh, priorities, it, it's go, some parents, uh, for some parents, it's going to be the academic program. But for some of the parents, they want to actually balance it up. They want to also have academics as well as the sports. Some of them are more specific to uh, different things. So everybody has got uh, different priorities. So make sure that you, you define your priorities. Some of the parents uh, like the proximity to home because they don't want their kid to be commute every day, one hour, one side, and then just spending two, three hours every day in commute. So uh, make sure that you define your priorities. The third thing is research multiple schools. We know uh, like uh, most of the uh, parents or kids normally don't have that option because some of the schools which they like, they all they have so high scores. But again, try to research as much as possible on the schools so that uh, it, it is going to be helpful for you on the CAF. Uh, visit the schools, go in the open houses, get a genuine feeling about their academics, their infrastructure, their uh, facilities. Uh, so it's all, all, if you are staying informed, it's all of these are going to be helpful for you. Okay, let's go to the num number five. Okay, this is one of the very important uh, factors that you should evaluate the academic programs. So when, when I, when I think about a lot of parents, they normally just consider Ofsted report and just see if it is outstanding, then this is brilliant. Uh, we are happy. But uh, some of the very uh, informed parents, what they do, they basically uh, do the full analysis of the uh, curriculum, the, the subjects, the GCSC and A-level scores at the national level. So they, they do quite a detailed analysis, right? And uh, once you do these kind of detailed analysis, they, they help you a lot because you then know which school is best for you according, according to your kids' needs, right? 
So make sure you evaluate the, the academic program. So another example you can consider is like uh, 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 last year when I was talking to one of the parents. So he was quite confused between CAGS and uh, Colchester, Royal Colchester, uh, the uh, boys' school. So most of the things are kind of same, right? But uh, that uh, parent wanted uh, his... Uh, uh, kid to do the the technology from year seven onwards and that was not available in CAG. so i told him like if you want your kid to be it oriented send uh, him or her uh, uh, to the royal colchester one because they start this from year seven like ks3 onwards so these are the things which actually help you uh, to uh, understand the school and then take better decisions uh, another thing is school culture and environment is very important uh, because uh, normally if you know the school's culture, what kind of disciplines, practices they have got uh, at place, what is the satisfaction uh, criteria, then actually these things uh, in a longer run uh, make you quite, uh, uh, like make as a parent you will feel better. For example, if you go to Wilson or you go to QE Barnett, right? What they do if your parent, if your kids... Uh, attendance drop below 93 percent you will get the uh, call from the school they will say uh, do you know that your kid uh, kids attendance is dropped no matter what is the reason but they that is actually telling you how informed they are and they are informing you so that you know if their their performance is degraded in some of the activities then why is it degraded you can basically just map out the things okay uh now the another very important thing is uh, actually the logistics uh, so location as i said is very important especially when your child is commuting every day so make sure that it is it is, it is not above one year, one hour journey because it's not worth i have seen a lot of uh, kids and parents actually just dropping the grammar schools in the middle because they couldn't move and they couldn't carry on continuously doing uh, two hours two and a half hours of journey and by the time the GCSE and A level starts, the kids don't have any time because they are in so much pressure, they can't even commute. So if you keep it below that particular transportation timing, then it, it will help you as a parent and also to your kid as well. Uh, make sure after school programs are there uh, as an extracurricular activity, what are the school hours, uh, so these things basically helps uh, us a lot. Like as, as a parent, I normally uh, look, on, look at all these things. So they, they helped me a lot in the past and also they are still helping me, right? Another very important thing is uh, just look at the uh, future programs of the schools. Because once you know what kind of programs the school is uh, trying to run in the future to make your kid future ready, the, they, these things will add a lot of uh, uh, kind of expertise in your kids when you compare it with other schools. So, for example, uh, I was talking to a few parents uh, in HBS and uh, QE and even uh, Wilson as well. So, they, they are doing a lot of AI robotics programs. They are sending kids to US and uh, uh, Europe uh, to basically give them better field better level of field to play with all these latest technologies, right? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm more into IT. So my mindset is actually uh, just more IT focused. Uh, so I always, because my kid also like uh, uh, doing IT related stuff. So that's the reason actually <laughs> I'm more informed on uh, that particular thing. Uh, guys, just give me two, three more minutes. Uh, we just quickly finish this waitlisting and appeal process. And then I will just start taking your questions, okay? So uh, waitlisting is very important. Once you accept or reject the place of allocation uh, based on your priority order, you will be, let's say I got my priority order uh, one, right? And I accept it. Then there won't be any waiting list for my kid. I'm out of that particular list at all, like completely. The second thing, the second scenario is I haven't got the priority order one, uh, school, but I have got the place in priority order two. When my kid hasn't got priority order one, it will be automatically in the waiting list for that particular school, right? So this is very important. Remember it. You, you are automatically enrolled in the waiting list for that particular uh, school 
and they will ask explicitly to you whether you want to keep, keep your kid there in the waiting list or not. Always make sure if they ask and that is the school you, you want your kid to be, don't take your kid out of the waiting list. Just say, we want to keep our kid in the waiting list and we will just wait. And from March onwards, it's the there is a lot of movement happens in the waiting list. Okay. And even it goes beyond year seven. I have seen kids like who are in the middle of year seven and they got the invite from their targeted school that you got the place uh, allocated. Are you do you want to accept it or reject it? So make sure you if that is the school you want your kid to be, keep your kid in the waiting list for that. And the, then you you basically receive uh, like accept the priority to uh, school and then your kid is actually eligible for that and now all the below ranking ones will be actually squashed for your kid the third scenario is like the school in the priority order you the council is going through the like you haven't got priority one priority two priority three priority four priority five in the priority six you uh, the council find out that uh, they have got the place then they will basically uh just uh, allocate it to you. So accept it. And for the top five schools, you will be in the waiting list. Okay. And there is another fourth scenario where you haven't got any school from your priority order. You have, you, you are not allocated any place in the schools. Then what is actually low wise, the responsibility of the council is they will basically try to find out a closest school for you. And then they will allocate the place to you. And here you don't have the uh, option to accept or reject it because that is actually not in the priority order of your CAF. And because the council, as per their responsibility, they, they find it out and uh, allocate it. If you don't accept it, then council will say, okay, as per the law, because I was legally responsible to find out a place for you, I find it out. But if you are not accepting it, then it is, I'm not legally uh, bindable now. So, right, this is your responsibility. Whenever there will be a place, the place will be allocated to you until unless you just do homeschooling or XYZ, whatever you want to do. Okay. So, that is how the whole uh, waiting list uh, normally works. Okay. So, there is an appeal process. Uh, so, once, uh, let's say, uh, you, you put the priority order in the school, uh, in the CAF for the schools, and uh, you are not allocated a place. Uh, so in that case, you also find out that some of the other kid who was kind of like having similar school or like your kid and they were allocated the place, then you can, you will start the appeal process in that case. So there you can uh, just uh, say uh, there is a formal uh, notification which you need to send as a formal letter to the, the local uh, council or the school. And then you are going to be asking them to just telling them that uh, we, are, we are not happy with the outcome. So we want to actually uh, start the appeal process. And that, that takes normally, uh, based on the type of the appeal, that takes some time. And then you will always be updated. So every single council uh, normally maintain the list of appeal process, like how many uh, parents have appealed against the decisions and what is the movement in that so always they, they maintain this and very transparent every council you can just go and check all these details okay uh now it's a parent q a session uh i would love to uh, you uh, to have you guys on camera and uh, then we can just make it more informative for uh everyone uh if you are a glecta parent who have done mocks with us or tuitions with us and just maybe talk about your experience for one minute. It will be, I think, a great gratitude for us. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Chaitanya, uh, I'm just unmuting you. You can unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, thank you. A quick question. So if we are rejecting an offer uh, for the first place that they've given, so would it mean that we will be allocated the second place, second preference what we have given? Right. But because the place was allocated to you based on your priority, then you might be coming in the waiting list. You won't be straight away allocated the place. You will only be allocated the place if the places are available. If Because they have already allocated the places based on the priority order. They, they don't know whether the, you, they will have the places for you or not. So you will be treated in the as a waiting list parent in that case. 
Okay, uh, so that answers partly. And the, the continuous question on that is like if uh, the second preference what I've given, if there is no place available, so then they will go in sequence and allocate either the third or fourth or fifth, whatever is available. Uh, no. So, okay. okay, once you once uh, they allocate the places based on your priority and you reject it, then you will be, they will go to the next one and they will ask them whether they have the seats or not. But you are not now be treated as a uh, compared to the previous kids who have put the similar uh, like in the priority order they have put the same school in the higher priority compared to you so let's say there are two schools s1 s2 right you put s1 as a higher priority and s2 as the second highest priority another kid put s2 as the highest priority right so they are actually more eligible to get the seats allocated now because they have put that as a best high, uh, priority school, they will get the first places first. And then if you re reject your first priority, then you will be considered in the waiting list for all the other schools. If there are places like somebody rejected, then you are the first one who is going to get it based on your score. Understood? Yeah, understood. So not necessarily that I'll, I'll get it, stand, stand a chance to get the second preference, but lightly. Okay. To stand but, a chance. Yeah, but you will be treated as a waiting list parent in that. Case. Oh, okay. You will okay. definitely get the preference because your kid has scored higher, maybe, okay. or other applicative, uh, applicable over subscription uh, factors are there. But these are the things which will come into the picture. Perfect. Thanks. Another question before I just hand it over to others. Okay. So, if this, um, sorry, there is uh, movements that you can do with your address prior to some kind of dates. Yeah. What what would happen if the address change happens post allocation of the seat, meaning uh, uh, after in March? That, in that case, uh, you won't be considered for inside catchment at all. If there is an inside catchment, outside catchment applicable on your target uh, county or target school, then if you move after that cutoff date, you will be you won't, your application won't be considered at all. So, for so example, if uh, you mo in most of the Bucks uh, schools, they have the moving date as first of September, right? And you you get the results somewhere in October. So you are already out of that particular uh, CAF choices. You can't do anything now because that last day is actually moved. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Hello. Hi, Rajinis. You are yeah. our friend now. You tell us. How yeah, yeah. So, so Gaurav, Gaurav, you know my problem, right? <laughs> Twins case, yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so I mean, uh, one of my son, right? right? I mean, uh, he got in almost everywhere, right? Yeah. Another mm -hmm. one got in 3-4. Okay. So, uh, we are planning to move the place where, you know, 100% one seat is assured for both of them. Correct. Right. And mm -hmm. another one, you know, he will keep trying like, you know, different, different schools. And I mean, we'll give the priority according to his choice and our uh, choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is there any, uh, in future, is it possible that, you know, another one, I mean, we can appeal as a twin case. I mean, does it happen? Just wondering. I mean, if, oh, no. I haven't heard like... anything in last couple of years, Rajneesh, to be honest. Uh, okay. There is an appeal process, but it, it is only done based on uh, the sibling criteria but here yeah there because your kid is not already in the school so the sibling criteria yeah. is not applicable so i yeah. would advise you to move into a place where you have multiple options so for 314 you can go to the west cliff south end if you are inside catchment you will straight away get it for both the kids yeah. I've seen, uh, a lot of cases uh, where uh, in case of twins, the boy and the girl, because the girl scored less and the boy scored very high. I mean, I've seen the cases where the boy scored Wilson and QE, but they had to leave the place because their daughter didn't score that high. So they moved into either West Cleave, South End, Colchester. So that's how the things need to be managed. Yeah. And 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 uh, I'm not sure that, you know, whether uh, in future uh, classes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in year, like, for example, year eight or year nine, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you have you have can, 12, 12 plus 13 plus option definitely yes. So we can, but we can still keep keep you know asking uh, right <laughs> that you know it's a twin case maybe that can happen. I'm just wondering. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Like definitely. You they will if we if there is anything like that happen you will have to register for the exam. Your kid yeah. just uh, give the exam and then based on the outcome uh, you All you right. have the priority in that case because one of the kid is already in the uh, school right. So yeah, that yeah. sibling criteria will apply in that case. Yeah, 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 I mean, we are thinking of to, you know, move in the area where that, you know, both is like, you know, traveling time for the other one is not far away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because both of them is got in uh, 100% in Bexley. Okay. That's yes, not a yes. problem. But mm -hmm. another one got in much higher. I mean, he's in, got in Dartford as well. He played a Wilson as well and other schools as well. Yeah. So we just wanted to keep it open for the other one, right? Oh, definitely. So, definitely. That, yeah. makes sense. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because otherwise he will say that, you know, why I should suffer <laughs> because of the other one. So, completely agree. Completely agree. Yeah. Thank you, Ranjit. Right. Uh, any Thank good you. experience with us? You want to give any feedback? Definitely. Definitely. It was very good experience with, you know, uh, Gaurav, especially with you that, you know, you were always there to help us out. Uh, we have that. done, you know, many, many mock tests. Uh, mm -hmm. with Blekta and and I can tell you that you know it was very helpful. I mean, it it really helped to access the where the kids were struggling. Right, we got to know upfront that you know okay, uh, in these places they have to uh, put more effort. Oh, okay, definitely. and definitely very 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 I'm very happy with the interactions and definitely I would be in contact with you guys later <laughs> as well in the all GCSD all the and time. all that. Right, and uh, I, I I recommend very highly of you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thanks for all the support. Thank you. Thank so you, much. Sir, thank you. Uh, next parent, uh, you can unmute hi. yourself and then ask the question, guys. Hi, hi, Gaurav. I've got a question. Hi, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So basically, uh, the first part, I had twofold question here. The first part yeah. you already have covered, which yeah. is uh, I've got two top priorities for school. Mm -hmm. And the number one on which my uh, child has sort of lower chances, there is a risk of uh, not making it. But the second choice, that he has got a higher chance. So when we, are, when we are filling the CAF form, when we're putting the risk school and the first choice, yes. and if he doesn't get it, you are saying that he will automatically go to the waiting list. Correct. And the council will go to the second choice, right? Correct. Okay, so that comes brings me to the other question, which is, I'm just trying to uh, uh, clarify a myth, which is, which is ongoing. That mm -hmm. say, for example, my child is giving the second choice of his school yeah but there is another child who has got same mark but put that school as the first choice choice in their cap mm -hmm. so is there any possibility that that child will have higher preference in the eyes of allocation rather than my child do you understand what i'm trying to say uh yes that child if his score is higher than your child he will definitely get it right no that's that's fine yeah but if in if the second like... scenario if they have both same score yeah then the distance factor will be applicable sir and right. special needs like over subscription criteria will be actually uh, kicked in if right. your distance is closer or your this, this uh, kid has got uh, extra uh, because of sibling criteria or xyz or any other sub or subscription criteria if you get more preference, your child is going to get it. Otherwise, the other child will get it. But, but in a no if, normal sense, the other child will get it if they put it as first preference. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. But, but the school will never ever know about it. So right. this, this problem only happens, this is the edge case, when your child and that child both has same score. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. But sorry, can I ask a follow up on that? Yes, sir. Even in that case, if they both have the same scores, just to clarify, because I think even if they have the same scores, then distance will come into play, or whatever else by the oversubscription criteria will will come into play. Correct. But their preference order in their forms will not come into play, right? Correct. Just because. Just so so so. To, the, the the kid which 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 got the second preference, if it is closer to the school, will get will get the the seat first, right. even if it it was second preference in his form. 
it the 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 preference doesn't matter in that case exactly that that's, that's yeah. i think that was the question which i wanted to just right, confirm right. Okay. the preference starts mattering only if you reject it correct after offer date exactly okay. okay all right thank you no problem sir Okay. Can, I, sorry, can I jump in and ask my oh, question? Yeah, please, well? sir, okay. please. Uh, it is less to do about selection, but a very very specific question about Dartford Grammar School. Yeah. Uh, is it is it fair to say that this year, because they have changed, they have increased the number of in county seats in Dartford Grammar Schools, mm -hmm. the the cutoff right the cutoff marks from last year would be reduced? Like the cutoff marks that would go this year are likely to be lesser than last year? Uh, no, it will be higher sir, this year. The in-count, the in-county cutoff. Correct. Because the, the problem what happens this time, so last year, Dartford Boys was uh, 379, correct? Oh, inside, yes. Inside catchment. Actually, it was 386. No. In-county. No, no, that was on the National Offer Day. But if you consider the uh, waiting list movement, so 379 was the lowest. And then for the outside catchment was 392. Okay. Right. So in that case, what now, now will happen is the outside catchment score will minimum jump by 10 because they made the seats half straight away. Exactly. Right. So the outside, the outside score will, the cutoff will increase. Exactly. So I'm, I'm, I'm not that much. Maybe the minimum is going to be somewhere around four, 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 five, four, six, something like that. Okay. For outside catchment. But for the inside one, the jump is again 10 to 12 points straight away, right? So last year was 379. Just add another 12 point, maybe oh, 12 to 15 points on a safer side. But, but, uh, but it was 379 when in, in county seats were 90. Correct. And, and now when in county seats are 130, you still think that the cutoff will increase and not decrease because the seats have increased. The, the reason being is because the a lot of parents worry will move into the catchment now. Because earlier what used to happen, if your kid had mm -hmm. secured 400, then you mm. were kind of like confident. Uh, my son will or my, my kid will get the seat. But now you are not confident. That is the problem. And that will force a lot of parents to move inside the catchment. And that will actually increase the boundary of, of that inside catchment as well. But okay. these, these, are, these are just speculations based on yeah. uh, statistical analysis. It might be <laughs> going down. It might, it might go up. Nobody knows. But uh, if you compare traditionally the 400 plus kids data with last year one, there is a drastic reduction in the number. Right. And similarly, 350 plus, 360 plus, 370 plus, everywhere it, it has dropped. So we don't know whether it's going to increase. It might decrease as well, as you said. Be because, because less kids score higher marks Correct. as compared to last year. Last year, definitely. And just to okay. add, Gaurav, right, there's been 40% drop on kids scoring 400 plus this year compared to last year. So definitely for out of catchment, I, uh, with the reduced seat, the scores may be same. But for in catchment, get a feel that, you know, the scores might increase because the moment into catchment is going to put demand. Correct. So that is actually the thing, uh, Gauri, which we need to be worried about now. So there, this, is, this thing is actually happening only specific to Dartford. Grammar schools and also uh, Royal Col uh, that uh, Colchester girls one, <laughs> because the things are now mm. in really bad shape. Because so, because from last year things have changed a lot. Exactly. So we, mm. we, yep. we really don't know. Hey, Gaurav, I have a question. Can I yes, ask? Sir, Thank yes, you. Oh, Anand sir, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. So the question is, um, it's a tricky situation. Yeah. So my daughter has clear tiffin. Yeah. But the Tiffin is stage two, and you have to be in the designated area. Correct. To to be to be there. Then Correct. she has clear certain two, like all other girls, thousand plus, mm -hmm. and she has three ninety and uh, in Kent and three fifty in CSSC. Now for CSSC, I'm thinking outside catchment. So the question is, if I move to that SM four where Kent, uh, where uh, Tiffin and uh, Sutton both are in catchment, but 
for outside cap men does the difference or uh, does the distance matter if i you know if i fill the cap or inform the local council of satan or whatever then the does the distance for outside county matters whether i live in you know east london or whether i move to satan for css cisco oh yeah yeah it, it matters sir so the moment you move out of your current uh, county then you will mm -hmm. be treated as outside catchment parent the moment you yes, tell yes. the moment you tell your local county i have moved out of this you now the things will straight away change from your local county point of view and if yes. say for example if i am based in red bridge i move to certain now so red bridge won't consider my application at all yes yes that's fine but colchester for colchester i am still outside and uh, i will be outside if i move to yeah, certain for so colchester it doesn't matter It doesn't matter. They, they are not uh, considering based on the catchment. There is there is no catchment uh, catchment for uh, Colchester boys. It will always be just scoring based. Next parent. Oh, can yeah. just yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. There is just uh, one hi, quick Dara. question. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Just one quick question. Uh, what is the what is the safe score uh, for an inside catchment in West Cliff? Uh, can sorry. Can you repeat what was that? I mean, what is the minimum safe score uh, for an inside catchment for West Cliff? Uh, so inside catchment was last year three hundred three for West Cliff. Same yeah, for do... South End. I think South End was three hundred four. On uh... no, I think for boys both are three hundred three. For girls, yeah. South End was three hundred four, and the uh, West Cliff was three, still three hundred three. No, I'm I'm just asking. Do you do you foresee any increase in that? Number no. for the inside? As... No, 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 not this year because CSSC was harder. Especially okay. math paper was harder this year, so uh, it's gonna be still same. Okay, okay. Uh, but Gaurav, just just a point. Is it uh, like this year they have made Colchester, uh, you know, in catchment? So will not CSSC Westcliff will increase? No, just just think that, that is that is that is girls' one, Anand, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, If the they are asking for boys. Yeah, yes. the, the parent who are targeting Colchester girls will still move like this because they always the Colchester one will always be better compared to your Westcliff and Southend, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the academics. Mm -hmm. So no matter what changes they are going to be uh, doing, uh, last year I I don't remember any parent who failed Westcliff or Southend and they haven't got it on three or three. Oh, okay. okay. There might be some movement, but uh, the the people, the kids who are actually targeting rural cultures, still they know they need minimum three forty three fifty to get into. Mm. Right? Mm. Okay, thank you. Here, hi, Gaurav. Uh, I have a similar question. My son has qualified for certain all three schools, and mm -hmm. if I am trying to put Wilson School as option one, priority one, mm -hmm. and on the national offer day, if my priority one school has been offered and I'm accepted. But due to some circumstances, I would like to. I would like to want to go for the second option. What What would be the procedure? Uh, Swapna, there won't be any second option. The moment you no. accept any of the option in your priority, all the other options will be considered as rejected. Okay. So if you accept Wilson, then you won't have any option for other certain two schools. If you don't get Wilson, if you let's say go for Wellington, then Wilson will put you in the waiting list, and Wellington will just give you the uh, place to offer or reject. If you reject it, then you are going to be in the waiting list for the certain. It is not guaranteed to uh, allocate you uh, straight away. It might be allocated. It might not be. But that will be uh, treated based on the waiting list movements. And okay, so little... once so once the offer has been accepted, we can't change any of the priorities. No. Okay. Okay. Once you uh, say I have accepted, the the all the lower uh, priorities are gone straight away. Oh, yeah, okay. please, uh, I have can a I just question. ask a question related to that? Sorry, uh, can I just yeah, ask that uh, related to that? Um, so you're saying that if I say I've got four schools uh, uh, in my area, and then if I accept the third school allocated, you know, they've given my third preference, the mm -hmm. fourth school will. Will not be in the waiting list anymore, but the right. top two schools will be in the waiting list uh, right. if I want to. Oh, that's, that's right. a good good thing to know. I've got a few more questions if uh, that the person doesn't mind. Sorry, yeah, I've yeah. Got a few. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, 
for example, you know, you were talking about uh, moving from one county to another, right? So yeah. uh, what if, if I am at a, uh, at a county where I have four schools and then move into a county where they have six schools in the CAF form? So will I be given an opportunity to add two more schools later on? Yes, or? yes. They will be asking you, correct. Okay, they'll be asking me what schools I want to do. And right. I've got a few more, sorry, uh, guys, like three more questions. <laughs> um, one is, uh, you know, uh, my daughter got a really good score in uh, Kent. She got 400. And yep. uh, we are completely out of catchment. We are in London. And yep. um, just wanted to see, like, you know, Tonbridge and Dartford Girls, those are the two schools that we are looking at at the moment with Kent. Mm -hmm. Are both schools okay with 400 for out of catchment or... Do we need to move into the catchment? Uh, what is your opinion so, about it? Uh, you said Dartford girls on 400, you will straight away got, get it uh, based on inside catchment. Outside catchment last year was 387. So okay. you might miss, uh, miss it this year, to be honest, because of that uh, uh, discussion which we were having about mm -hmm. the, the seats for the OOC this year. So they, Reduced it from 90 to 50 and added 40 seats in the inside catchment. So that, that might actually uh, go in any side, to be honest. So right. We, so we, we don't know whether it will actually reduce the IC score or it will increase the IC score, but the expectation uh, is going to increase. Uh, of course. Yeah. The, yeah. The yeah. One you said uh, which one? Uh, Tonbridge. Tonbridge or Tonbridge? T-O-N, T-O-N-B-R-I. Uh, yes, Tonebridge, you will get it because last year was 394, if I'm not wrong. 372 was the inside catchment. 394 was, was the outside catchment. So you will get Tonebridge, definitely. Okay, Tonebridge is more likely, even though we are outside okay. catchment. So we don't have to move you, until you it is... Tonbridge, you will get Tonebridge. Tonbridge Wells. Are you talking about Tonebridge Wells? Oh, okay, okay. We, are, we have chances for all three schools. <laughs> The... Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, no, okay. Can I go not, ahead and remind myself? Short for the Dartford girls, but yeah, rest of the two, yes. Okay, rest of the two, yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah. sorry, just a follow up question on that, mm -hmm. uh, Gaurav. What what was the closing for Tunbridge Wells last year? So, Tunbridge for, for outside Wells, catchment, girls or boys? Girls. Girls was I see uh three seventy two, and O C three ninety four. And that was outside catchment. It hasn't right. changed much this year, right? So it'll be it similar. Yeah. Um, can you someone explain um how the sibling link works? Uh for Kent schools? For Medway schools. Oh, Medway, I think they have got the sibling criteria policies, correct. But right. I'm so I'm like 100% my son goes sure. to a, a uh, school. So um, if I did a sibling link, then my youngest should get in. Sorry, can you repeat that, Aman? Yeah, I, I... so my son, my eldest son goes to a um, grammar school. Uh -huh. so under the sibling, um, will he will he get into the same school? Uh, so it is, you need to make sure that the eligible score is actually achieved, even for the sibling criteria. Right, so, so minimum, I'm gonna, I'm gonna minimum 300. Sorry, Aman? I'm going to put that as my first option and then select because you have to put the reason why, like, if, if you don't on sibling, if you don't on okay. distance. So I'll put the sibling link. Mm -hmm. Um, But obviously, I'm just worried that, you know, will he, will he get it or is there a... So which... At the moment, I'm putting four drama stores on there, but mm -hmm. some, uh, a head teacher, my, head, my son's head teacher said, if you put... Because originally, I was going to put two drama stores and mm -hmm. two top stores, but they said... If you do that, then they may give you the comp stores and not the drama stores. Because uh, what I don't want is a situation where if I I don't want him to have like a really like they don't offer me the drama store, but give me a really bad store. So I'm a bit. But like, Amon, I want to uh, understand uh, one form. thing here. Uh, your kid has he secured minimum four eighty eight in the Medway eleven? Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah. Okay, if he has already secured minimum 488, then he will get whatever school you are putting as part right. of the sibling criteria. The okay. kid will definitely get the preference compared to other kids. But again, okay. there is another, uh, uh, other subscription criteria which uh, they will be considering, especially like the distance wise, because Medway yeah, is about sibling first and then they do yes. distance. Correct. 
So you were, your kid will definitely get higher priority compared to other kids. Okay, brilliant. And the second question was that, um, like, let's say they offer me a stall and I don't want it. Uh -huh. So do you have to accept it and then go on a waiting list? How, yeah. do you, how does uh, that work? So if you reject it, yeah. then the, the, the waiting list will be kicked off for remaining uh, schools, to, to be honest. Uh, so, you, so you basically got it set, is that what you're saying? Correct. So if, let's say, the first uh, place which is allocated to you from priority one, yeah, and, and you accept it, then it's good. Rest of the others will be squashed. Yeah. If, you don't, if you reject it, then yeah. you are gone from the priority one, but rest of the other three, you will yeah. be in the waiting list for those ones. Because right. the okay. kids okay. who have put them in the higher priority and now not allocated the places will be considered first. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it's always like, is it best, like I said, to, like I said before, is it best to put all grammar school rather and not put any comps down because they may give you a comp right. school? No, this is not the best practice, Aman. To be honest, uh, normally the parents keep at least one uh, state school or one grammar school, which is hundred percent confident where yeah. you it is going to be getting the place. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you will be in big trouble because you don't know whether they are going to be allocating the place uh, 50 miles away or 30 miles away or two yeah. miles away, right? So there is a big uncertainty in that case. Yeah, okay. Um, All right. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. I, I had a follow-up question on that. Sorry. Um. So you were saying that if, for example, I'm, I've been allocated a school of third priority and I've accepted it, will I be still be in the waiting list for first two? I'm confused now. Yes, you will be. I'll be okay. So I still be uh, even though the third one was accepted. I right. still be in the waiting list for the sorry. When, uh, when, course, when when the priority list goes from top to bottom, Udia, if you don't huh? get let's say one or two of your top priorities, yeah, and get the third or fourth or fifth, whatever, you yeah. will be automatically enrolled in the waiting list for all the top priority schools. Top priorities. Oh, okay, that's until, good unless you say that I don't want to be in the waiting list, take my kid out. They are gonna be okay. you there. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got another one question. Like, yeah. you know, she has done Southwest Hertz as well. She got yeah. a, a score, the cutoff was 216 for proper meters, and she got a score of 213. So I was just wondering, would would there be any help if I asked my head teacher to give some recommendation letter or something um, for her? Would that, okay. No, I'm that not wouldn't. aware of any uh, parameters uh, kid who got it what about uh the music and all uh rest of the other no ones? no she hasn't done any music she ah. done on the academic side which is 213 ah, okay. and we are in priority postcode um for, for power meters yeah, so. is i think 216 what about queen's one you are not in the uh oh no we are not we are not in the priority for any other schools in south okay. research is power meters and saint clement Dates. that's it so, uh, saint clement Dates, you will get it because last year was 213 right I think so. Yes, yes. Yeah, so you are eligible for Clement Dance, but yeah, okay. you you might miss uh, because uh, when I talked to the parents this year, I think paper was a little bit easier compared to last year. So okay. or we don't know that it, it might be higher to be honest. But oh, okay, is the historic score for Parmiters, which I know. Right. Okay. I mean, even after the waiting list, because I've heard that yeah. they are after that is, the waiting that is list. Actually is from the waiting list, correct. So two, oh, I thought it's two ten is after the waiting list. Uh, two ten is the minimum score that given for after the waiting list. The Master. initial cutoff, yeah, the initial cutoff was two sixteen, and then there is a waiting list, and then they went down to two ten or something. Parameters? Am I wrong? Uh, I am not aware of. Uh, I remember from top of my head two sixteen and two thirteen. There was like three digit, uh, sorry, three uh -huh. numbers uh, difference. But I might be wrong with you. It's best best to. Okay. Be Check, get okay. get uh, from the school. Just shoot yeah, sure. them an email and get the sure. Details. Yeah, sure, sure. Another yeah. question. Sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, guys. One second. Uh, one question is: um, If we are, haven't been to any open days to any schools, for example, in Kent, I haven't been to any open days, yeah. and I don't know much about the schools. I mean, I'm just talking to other moms and stuff to understand it. So, mm -hmm. how do we find out the school culture? You know, I've been to their websites. Websites are like pretty texty right I mean mm -hmm. I've seen I, I've tried to see any videos on YouTube or anywhere where I see some you know Dartford girls or Tom Bridge you know they're given some videos but I, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't find any videos anything so how uh, would we go, actually go to the, the mom set 
So, they are uh, right? uh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll where see that. a lot of moms actually talk about the yeah, schools. So sure. that might be helpful, I think. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm done with my questions. No, Thanks, no, no, on the back of it, I have one question about uh, the girls. So, so to start, um, my daughter has got uh, did music exam as well. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The, the the music score has been uh, going up and down quite uh, quite a, a drastic way in the past years. So Correct. not sure how it is. It it works out there. She scored thirty one uh, in music. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think this year was how much was forty two or forty one something like that. I think we are in out of catchment. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. So and she scored two hundred and five uh, for uh, in academic in. Rickman's worth, I think it is 196 for academic cutoff last year. Mm -hmm. and in another, I think Queens, it was 185 and Watford Girls yeah, yeah. was 203. Um, so just wondering what the prospects are. Uh, uh, I think if you are outside catchment and your kid hasn't uh, got into <laughs> via music, then it is very hard, uh, Vinaya, to be honest. Okay. Uh, because that is a problem with SW Hurt schools. They don't consider uh, like OOC based kids. I don't know whether they, there is a last uh, cutoff date change for this year, but I think I'm, I still remember 31st of October or 1st of September. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Maybe Vinya can uh, tell or maybe Udia can talk. Uh, I think, uh, yes, it is 1st of September. Before that, we have to be in yeah. the area. Correct. Uh, correct. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, the another question is uh, for Slough, uh, she yeah. got some good marks. Just wondering what the um, uh, what the um, uh, score they gave in, based on historical data uh, and the distance uh, for out of catchment. Slough is which which one you are targeting? If you are you are talking uh, Langley, Upton Court and, Upton Court and uh, Herschel. I yeah, think yeah. Langley, Langley is ruled out because they give only for priority one and two. Correct. So there is no allocation from P three. From in last two three years, yeah. as far so as I Langley remember, is, Langley is ruled out, so it's only Upton Court and Herschel. Upton is normally uh, quite flexible. I think last year, uh, let me try to remember. I think there were a couple of miles. I know even kids going from Harrow as well. Uh, in 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 Slough. Yeah, we are in Wembley, so Harrow is not right. Uh, I think I. I remember from somewhere I, I sent to some parent uh, last year was uh, 10 miles. Last year was the last one they allocated the place is 119 based on OOC and it was 10 miles away. Okay. Uh, Harshal, Harshal is like uh, pretty much they allocated to everyone, to be honest. Uh, that is the most lenient school. <laughs> uh, Harshal, I'm just trying to see if I have got the data for Harshal. Uh, by the way, the Harshal's uh, GCSE and A level marks are wonderful, like 72 and 79%, which I remember. I think I'm missing Harshal data somewhere. Herschel data is close to Upton Court. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I've got it. GCS in A level. Yeah, pretty much both are same to same. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure about the historical data of uh, allocation. Um, but then Herschel has lower cutoff, right, compared to Upton Court. That's what I'm wondering. What the yeah. Yeah, I've seen that it is 115 or something, 116 or 115 for Herschel. Where the Upton Court is 121. Yes, I, I remember now. Uh, so last year, uh, for Herschel, it was 115. And uh, they basically allocated the places to all the eligible kids within four miles radius. And wow. there, were, there were around 865 uh, eligible kids last year, out of which anybody who scored 115 or above, they, they got the place. That yeah. That's for Herschel. And for Upton Park, it was uh, 111 from IC and 121 with the distance up to 9.935. Okay. And for Herschel, what is the out of catchment? Uh, no. So uh, they maximum uh, distance they went is 
four miles vinya so okay. within four miles uh, distance they basically allocated the places to everyone who is scored 115 or above so that is in catchment isn't it uh no that is actually what uh, they they told on their website last year after waiting list movement so they don't consider inside or outside they consider the distance and they consider the score it is not like upton park where they have allocated some specific seats for ooc based kids and then they they just go for the higher ranking hi gaurav i've got a question sorry yeah. uh, for colchester royal grammar school last year the cut off sorry, sorry school... uh, uh, vinya uh, is it okay or uh, any other parent had the similar question yeah i, ha I oh. have a question uh, for colchester girls what is the cut off score for inside uh, sana sorry uh, do we have any parent who wanted to ask about slough i think let's finish that up because we we are uh, already discussing it okay, okay. thanks agaro uh, yeah so uh, so 4 miles is is for herschel so correct uh, we, are, we are far beyond 4 miles so uh, i think you you have got a good option in the upton one if okay. your uh, kid has scored 121 or above okay okay cheers thank you yes. hi gaurav coming back to my question sorry uh, yeah. last year the for colchester royal grammar school the hmm. intake cut off was 337 so given the this year result in your opinion what do you think the safe score will be around roughly so 33 33... oh you meant the girls one 33 no no the boys colchester royal grammar the boys one yeah, even Three... girls too i have a question on girls too yeah so on the boys one 333 to oh, sorry 330 was the last year inside three three seven was oh, no no it it went down to 330 okay okay uh, last year so that was the last seat allocated to the kid right and uh, this year i think it's going to be the same to be honest uh, uh considering even there are some maths uh, question which were kind of hard but again if you look at the cssc but like i talked to so many uh, kids so far uh, pretty much like everybody uh got the similar kind of marks which are we were expecting mm -hmm. right okay. so in, 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 on that i've got another question like obviously this school does not have any catchment area correct. so i asked a similar question to you before that mm -hmm. if two children uh, get the same score and then obviously since there is no catchment area you said uh, in the last question that depending on the distance from the school correct. Correct. then the school will decide so right. since since no catchment how do you think they decide on what what ground if the score is same yeah same distance same distance even someone's uh, both living in london mm -hmm. and uh, whoever is whoever is the nearby one they will allocate the places to them if uh, their distance is same then they will use the lottery system lottery system correct so if if they're like for more student with the same score they will do a lottery no if there are multiple kids having the same score but right. they are on the same distance okay okay and they will use the lottery okay yes right. uh, hi, hi gaurav gaurav uh, hi uh, can we uh, perhaps look at certain schools um, yeah. yeah so the challenge i think many of the parents will have for certain schools is that the result says uh, pass eligible to apply for wellington certain correct. uh certain schools right doesn't uh, say anything else correct so um like many parents i'm listening to uh, we are out of catchment of certain schools right um uh, it just says pass for certain stage 2 right correct now how do i estimate if uh, if we have a good chance for non such specifically uh so this is again, again another blunder these guys did this year that they haven't shared the score Other, otherwise it could have been much easier for the parent correct yeah But yeah the the best thing which any parent can guess based on the outcome now because yeah. every certain school normally uh takes 3 to 4 times of the total pans uh, okay right so okay. for example if in wilson or non such they have 182 or 192 seats yes. they, will, they will take straight away four times wilson takes straight away four times i know about wilson 
right okay. mountain also sometimes 3 sometimes 3.5 sometimes 4 okay so now the the good indication is if the kid has passed all the grammar schools yes then then you as a best guesstimate you can think that your kid has really scored well because okay. they are in the in all the grammar schools now so you can put and choose your uh, like you can choose your priority order and put the kids in this uh, order but if the kid has only passed let's say one let's say certain grammar only yes yeah if this is the indication that the marks are below the threshold of wellington as well as the other one but this is a guessing game now this is a guessing right. game. this and is a do we, game now, sir. and and then do we uh, or in this case specifically Mm -hmm. Should parents move into the catchment? I mean, we're currently out of catchment, but because this is a guessing game, should we move into catchment? Does that make a difference? Yes, yeah, definitely it will increase your chances because uh, I think non such has how many seats? 60 seats, right? I think Over. they say 85, they accept yeah, so in rank order. Yeah, so non such outside is 80, and Will, Will, Wilson is no Willington. Willington is 110 outside catchment, yeah, and some, total each has 210. Yeah, yeah. top yeah. 85 uh, is is non such correct, and Wellington is 110. Correct. Yes. Correct. Uh, so uh, it's it's a 50 50 game to be uh, honest, Alana, uh, because Wellington has got more seats for uh, like higher uh, scorers. And same for non-search. But again, yeah. when yeah. you are in inside catchment, the chances always increase. But in this case, because there are, let's say, two girls' schools, there is uh, Wallington uh, and then there is non-search. Both Correct. require certain uh, two, right? Correct. So uh, if we were aiming for non-search, should we then move closer to non-search? Or does it not make any difference uh, where you move in certain? It does make sense uh, if you are confident, right? Because yeah, yeah. at some point, the distance calculator is always there. Every yes, yeah. you, right? Yes. So now it is based on your confidence with your kid after talking to her that how was yeah. the exam? Okay. So right. this is, okay. So this is where may I have some indication. So her Kent yeah. score was uh, 410. 410. Right? Okay. Yeah. 410. Correct. So I think, I mean, broadly, it must have gone well. It's still a guesstimate. But in Correct. this case, Gaurav, like, would it make sense to put uh, a certain school as number one, non-such as number one, mm -hmm. and then put, let's say, a Tonbridge or a Dartford as number two? Yeah. And if you don't get uh, non-such, then you get Tonbridge because you're considered out of catchment for Tonbridge Correct. or, yeah? Correct. No, that makes sense. Okay. okay, makes sense to me. But shift over to uh, one of the places. At least shift over to uh, uh, Sutton to to be in the catchment. Yeah, that is another thing normally parents do. So yeah. uh, for let's say non search or Wellington, they will move inside the catchment, and then they put Kent as a higher uh, priority. So like number three and number four, Dartford girls, and then you can put uh, Turnbridge or Tonbridge, whichever you want. Yeah. Uh, if uh, you have good uh, chance, let's say you are allocated certain, uh, any of the certain school, then that's brilliant. If you don't get it, you still get the OOC seats for the Kent one. And you will be only uh, how much time? Maybe six months or whichever your tenancy is. You can uh, just uh, see that as, a, as, an, uh, that as an extra. extra. Okay, and here is another common question. So, if parents were to move into catchment, do the children also have to enroll into the yes. school? Correct. So, then they enroll for six months or four months, whatever Correct. it is, before they graduate from the catch uh, that school, right? Yeah. But again, the allocation in your recently moved county is not stayed away. They will be doing it, right? It yeah. can take even a couple of months sometimes if you Correct. want given the seats in your uh, targeted school, then yes. you can still live and maybe show it as a commute from your new place to old place. Yes. Uh, there won't be an issue, uh, issue in that. That should yeah. be the payment. 
So, uh, so uh, Gaurav, I have one question. Do you have any statistics about the Bexley Grammar School? Like, uh, because Bexley Grammar School have a criteria of two miles away. They give a priority yeah. for two miles away, right? So what was the last score for uh, the two miles uh, inside the, that place? Like, what was the score? Bexley, of... Bexley is quite easy. Uh, you are only specifically asking for Bexley Grammar or all the Bexley? Uh... No, only Bexley. Yeah. Only Bexley. I think last year was 217, uh, which I remember. Let me quickly validate it. Uh, is it a national already or is it a waiting list? Uh, one? So other than the 180 top students in Baxley, right? Yeah. So the lowest went to 217 uh, for Baxley. Uh, but again, if you... 217 and 270, sorry. No, no, 217, Nikunji. 217, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see uh, the, the Bexley. Yes. Uh, so this year uh, we have got 212 as a uh, cutoff date. Oh, sorry, cutoff score, right? Yes. So yes. based on 212, if you consider any of the uh, Bexley Grammar School. So last year for Bexley Grammar School, it was 214 with 2.2 miles was the last kid who was allocated the place. And bats was around 7.7 .7 miles on 214. So this year, I'm hoping it's going to be 212 with similar two miles. So it is it is always approximate two miles. 1.96, sometimes it's 2.2, 2.1. It is always like that. So the, the student who got like 220, he would definitely get a seat. Yeah, yeah, he would definitely get Babu. Uh, uh, hi, girl. Still a question for Slav, actually. Adirit, where were you when we were discussing Islam? No, I, I messaged you because I didn't get a chance to speak. I oh, messaged yeah, okay. you in the chat. Tell me, tell me, sir. Um, so I live uh, uh, like one mile within Langley Grammar School. And yes. uh, my son scored around 118. So mm -hmm. do you think I would definitely get in uh, Langley Grammar? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think last year Langley was... Uh, do you have the data or you don't remember? The uh, one. Last player was triple one. The cutoff was, yeah. Triple one or one one seven? One triple one is for across the board, but I, I yes. don't know. This is where the confusion yeah. is. So one one seven was for from the P2. Uh, one one three for from the P1. So that was, I remember, Adirith. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you have an idea in terms of how do you compare the, uh, you know, the grammar schools, like which one, Langley Grammar School, Upton and Bernard, how they differ in terms of uh, academic? So Langley, and... Langley is the only good grammar school, to be honest, compared to other three. Okay. I think okay. Uh, number one is Langley, then Upton Park or Herschel. The, 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 the ranking order of Herschel and Upton Park is always keeps on changing every year. Okay, so you, you, the, so the best bet is Langley Grammar School is better than the other three. Exactly. Yes, there is no doubt about that. that. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes. Hi, Gaurav. Uh, Pariket here. Uh, I've got a question on specifically for CSSC. Yeah. Um, I'm out of catchment for all the CSSC schools, uh, but I'm hoping that I would eventually move move into catchment in one of the um uh, near one of the schools. My question is, uh, can I continue schooling? Uh, up to year six in the existing school, which is not going to be in the new council. Uh, is that an issue? This is going to be an issue because the moment when you moved into the new catchment, or oh, sorry, new mm -hmm. county, you are required to register your kid in the local council. Right? And if you don't okay. get the, uh, the seat allocated, you can still continue because it is advisable to continue in your old council until unless you are allocated the place. But you need to basically just to solidify your case, you need to make sure you also move your kid to your new council. Okay. I mean, in, in my case, my kid goes to a private school. So it's a private school and it's only up to year six. And uh, I, I really don't want him to go through that change. Um, so, you know, it, it is literally, it's a matter of, so it's not that, you know, yeah. I'll move so, to the area. Yeah, yeah. If it is a private school, then I yeah. don't see any issue in that. Okay, okay. But what, make, uh, sure, make sure you update your local council about it. Just shoot them an email and take it in a written form. That they, they, they say, that should be okay. 
ஒன்னிஷன் <laughs> which is saying that uh, are you applying through inside catchment or outside catchment if so you... yeah we are moving the council actually from havering to chemsford council correct so if uh, you are moving into the catchment then yeah. literally you are showing them that i am now inside the chemsford county correct mm-hmm. yeah and if you are still Uh, showing that that your kid is going in the old council then how will you legally prove that you are the resident in the chemsford county they can argue it in the future because you haven't moved your kid you haven't moved your belongings then what are you what were you doing in in the chemsford council you were just uh, maybe showing a, a fake rental agreement correct so it is very hard to defend the case okay So on the same line this is priyanka here uh, so on the same line i wanted to ask uh, i'm moving catchment to ss and uh, we have the half term anyway so can i uh, just stop schooling in this old county uh, by 25th october and then wait for the new school maybe maximum one week it will take right i'm i'm started applying for schools so is that uh, you, can, you, you can continue priyanka there is no harm in continue uh, uh-huh. doing the old school because okay. legally until unless they provide you the new place you can still uh, do either the home schooling or you can keep sending your kid to the old school okay. but you need to as, as a as a just uh, making sure that uh, your case looks genuine you uh-huh. need to start moving your gp you need to start moving your kid school so all these things yeah to look genuine in their case yeah and uh, when we are saying it can be arguable in the future so that's what i'm really scared of i'm giving kids in my first preference yeah. and suppose it's getting allotted and i'm accepting it mm-hmm. and then later for some reason i mean i'm going to move everything but mm-hmm. then later for some reason they are some uh, proof something goes on and then they i don't know for some reason they reject the offer then i'll not get anything which was on my second list any grammar school uh, is there yeah. a possibility so that, like- so that is that is the reason i am saying priyanka when you are planning to move show it as a genuine uh, case mm-hmm. right and genuine genuine case includes you have got the rental agreement you have got the utility bills now and also when you they will ask you to send the utility bills they will see the consumption there in the utility bill it could okay. be the case that the, you rented a place and you are not living there so we are getting the rental agreement for next week and say we are moving and then we are applying for the uh, council and utility and all that and that might take a week or so the schools That's might okay. take- they are not going to be asking you to send these proofs now they will mm-hmm. be asking they will be sending you in few months time okay okay so somewhere around like feb march maybe okay. april maybe somewhere in december or next year september okay. they will ask you to send these details so don't worry about this okay and for kids does the distance from school matter um only in, only in case of same score yes same score okay and is there a chance of uh, variation of the last cut off from last year of 340 uh, any any i don't i don't think there's going to be much but maybe consider is maybe four or five uh, uh, marks plus or minus okay that's, because that's three, three is our score so i'm i'm worried uh, if it changes how much is the score of your kid 353 oh is damn sure uh, safe don't worry Okay. Okay. Uh, I got a. I have questions regarding. Sorry, guys. There, there are two parents. One is Daniel. Another one is Damian. Please let them speak first because they have been trying very hard. 
ยังไงก็ไม่ต้องรอเพราะเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเราเราพอเ
uh, I think you you might miss Weld of Kent as well because last year the score was quite high, three eighty eight around. Okay. But the main stone you will get easily. Uh, all, okay. Uh, you will easily get, but Dartford girls and Tonbridge, Tonbridge, and Weld of Kent will be yeah. a lot uh, difficult. To be okay, and the Mayfield as well has a chance. Yes. Okay, so other than this Dartford and uh, right. Tonbridge, uh, so these are the considered other... as super selective in Cannes. Okay, so the score goes really high, uh, even okay. for wide catchment. Okay, and I have the another uh, question uh, regarding uh, oh, the cap farm. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Why are you eating? Eating a hamburger sandwich? What are you doing? You have to miss the game. You unmute. <laughs> yeah so uh, i have a question regarding cap so i am yeah. currently uh, in the west sussex and i need to fill the cap for from the west sussex but i need trying to move into the kent council yeah so if i put a, a one of the secondary school uh, from the west sussex where i am living mm -hmm. and uh, in any chance if i didn't get any um, the school from the kent after moving mm -hmm. and and then is it possibility I can move back to uh, the West Sussex and get that school, secondary school? Uh, sorry, let me understand. So you are saying that from the West Sussex, you have got three options, right, in West Sussex? Yeah, yeah. So you you put two of the grammar schools for Kent, Kent and yeah. move there, correct? Yeah, yeah. And then you have put some local school in West Sussex? Yeah. But the moment you go in the catchment of Kant, mm -hmm. your application will be transferred there, sir. Okay. So, so the I... local school which you have put now will be considered as a out of catchment remote, remote school. Yeah. And okay. then if the place is not there for outside catchment kids, it's it's gonna be a challenge for you. It 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 will be a rejected straight away. Correct. Correct. Okay, so I need to put all of the three choices from the Kent if I am moving. Correct, exactly. Okay. There is no backup when you move uh, <laughs> between councils. So that is the yeah. problem. Got yeah. it. No problem. A, Thank uh, you so much. Yeah, got got it. One, the one question if I can ask. Kent, uh, so my daughter has scored 400 plus and also in the backslash she has scored around 240. So right. we are now in effects that do we consider the Dartford Grammar School or the Baxley Grammar School? Sorry, how how much was uh, in uh, Bexley? Uh, Kent, Kent. Kent is four hundred plus actually. So if uh, Kent inside, Kent... we are five minutes from the Dartford Grammar oh, yeah, School. Then you are going to get yeah, you are going to get Dartford uh, girls easily then. Yeah, but then uh, isn't that the Bexley Grammar School the better one compared no, 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 to no, Dartford no. Grammar Dart... School for girls? No, uh, Dartford girls is better than Bexley. Okay. Yeah, until unless you you are uh, very uh, concerned about the IB uh, pattern. Ah uh, no no not really. We, we want so, to hear from you. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, definitely, Dartford is better. Thank you. Yeah, so got, I got, got a question on CSSC Chemsford in particular kegs. Thanks for time by the way. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I recall a couple of minutes back you were answering one of the questions and and, and you were mentioning that for kegs. Uh, a score of more than 350 is a safe zone. Did I get that right? For oh, inside, yes. Inside catchment, yes. Correct. Okay. So you don't see that fluctuating significantly it's considering the situation in Kent? Not this year. No. It it okay. might come down, but not up. I see. Okay. So any score more than 350 mm -hmm. for in catchment yeah, is... It's quite safe. Quite safe. For kicks. Okay. Then second thing, if you're moving into Chemsford, uh, let's say from Redbridge, mm -hmm. um, and moving around 28th, do, do we... Is it recommended to fill the cap form using the Chemsford Council? Because we'll have the rental agreements and everything. There is no harm in that because you, if you are ultimately moving there mm -hmm. and you don't want to just uh, initiate another thread with the old council, it's better to uh, just move and fill the details there as well. There is no harm. Actually, both the cases are okay because ultimately you, you just need to... Uh, Phil, or so you need to do this extra emailing to your old right. company. Other than that, it's, it's the same process. Understood. And related to that, because one of the madams were also asking the same question about this being half term period and mm -hmm. commuting from, let's say, Chemsworth back to the school in Redbridge is practically not possible to the time a school is allocated in Chemsworth, right? Yeah. So is it fine for the child to wait in Chemsworth till the time a school is allocated? 
or do what is called as homeschooling, which I'm not fully really familiar with. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You you just uh, put the name. You just mm-hmm. put the local school. That will take one two weeks time. Yeah, exactly. So find out a good play, uh, school. Then you will fill the local uh, primary application. Right. And right. Uh, they will take some time. So by the time they will get back to you, it will be already, I think it will have, have gone around two, three months. Right. So you could you could still carry on uh, doing this uh, in the old school. Or you can just say, my kid was doing uh, home tutoring, anything like that. So the, yeah. these are genuine cases. So don't worry about this because the council also know the if the tests are happening, you are not going to be pulling your kid out just in the middle of the test. Right. No, the situation so, is that the kid cannot what, commute to the existing school. Yeah, yeah uh, you can you can show it. You can, okay. you can, or you can just say we were just commuting back to our old school and bringing the kid, or you can say like uh, the kid was staying with your parents there. Anything you can you can just say. They are not <laughs> going to be first doing any uh, uh, problem for these kind of scenarios. Yeah. Right, and the last question is the one, gap one mentioned. Can we is do we have the option of filling and saving? Uh, or you just fill it and just submit in one go. No, no, no. You 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 just put it. You don't submit it until unless you are hundred percent sure. Okay, you keep, so you can save. Yeah, kept updating it. Like keep on updating it, and just it will automatically save your details. But don't submit it until unless you are hundred percent sure. All right. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Sorry, Thank you. Sorry, please. I need to go. Um, sorry. Amita, first, first, uh, first, you need to tell how was your experience with her. With us, experience was amazing. I mean, we, it was a brilliant uh, coaching. To be honest, we we took the NVR mastery class. That was superb. We haven't got that. We have been uh, going to the tutions, but n- none of the teachers like yours. The week, okay. three, weekly class, English and maths, uh, maths was superb, like beyond words. To very be very good, very good, right? We learned so many tricks and tricks. Uh, to with the math class, that was amazing. Elena was brilliant. And then you. obviously, mocks were beyond words. Right, and the community you create and with the WhatsApp groups and everything is uh, it's amazing, uh, amazing, right? So the, most Thank of the answers you have, we've got the support, right? Without even looking at thousand plus parents on that group is. <laughs> Sometimes it's very too hard for me to balance between the official uh, work and my like uh, glad tower. But again, yeah, Phil, uh, just uh, it's yours. Tell me, what do you need? So I just need two questions. One is which should be our first choice, Wilson or Kiwi? And if he and he's got three seventy four in uh, in CSSE, can he get out of catchment for Tex? Those are the two questions I have. Uh, Which one should be the first choice, Wilson? Wilson, Wilson or Kiwi? Uh, yeah. Again, it's it's again uh, between the confirmed seat versus the possible seat, Kavita. Another thing which I will be comparing is the sports interest. My like your kid is more into football or this uh, game so you he is more into cricket or rugby so you need to do uh, this comparison and then accordingly you need to select it like when i was in in the same situation few years back i selected qe because of the academics because of the future programs uh, which were happening in qe and also uh, ashman uh, because he he was more into hard hit uh, uh, games like uh, rugby and uh, he used to like cricket a lot so that's the reason so you need to do the same uh, just look at like which uh, uh, games your kid like which extracurricular activities he wants to do going forward and then uh, based on that because QE on his score he's going to get the QE I'm 100% sure Wilson again, it's it's a, a possibility because nobody knows the score this time. So you can put uh, uh, maybe if you like Wilson more most, put Wilson in the top and then QE and then the rest of the others. But if you you want QE, then you put QE in the top and then Wilson and then rest of the others. It's up to you. And and then does it make sense to do the second test for uh, Tiffins and uh, Saint Olives because he obviously has cleared the stage one. So Saint Olive, uh, people still do Saint Olives because uh, there is a there are a lot of other factors which normally uh, parents think about. One is Saint Olive is also kind of like uh, very good schools in all the things. So they they use a kind of like balanced strategy where they do a lot of sports, extracurricular activities, academics, everything basically. 
so i know a lot of kids who are going in st olaf and they are kind of like excels better than wilson and uh, your qe kids so all all of these three schools are brilliant but again you need to now choose if your kid is going to get wilson or qe then and you are more your kid is liking more uh, qe or wilson then it doesn't make sense to give uh, st olaf because ultimately it's going to be blind game uh, for you uh for 374 uh, considering this year CS, uh, cssp math score i think you are going to get it uh, even based on uh, outside catchment that is my hunch to be honest out of catchment 374 yeah 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 okay oh gora my thank question you. is yes sorry kavita you are done right yeah 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 thank you very okay. much thank you okay. sorry yes yeah, yeah gora my question is about uh, colchester royal grammar school so you said uh, the last uh, um, offer right. which was made last year was 330 so was <laughs> it to a category 2 uh, child for boys or girls boys boys colchester yes, royal 336.33 something 336 yes and that was to category 2 so how do they like uh, what is this category 2 criteria there is no category 2 uh, like this so category 2 is specifically for the distance factor so there is a category 1 which is like sorry someone was saying something so for not me colchester boys for them they don't consider inside outside anything like that they only allocate the places based on the scores so forget about these categories normally they refer category 2 is outside catchment that is what my i know about it so that was under like 336 So if your kid is getting above three forty or above three thirty six, I even for this year, I think it's a safe score to be honest. Okay, okay, thank you, Gaurav. No problems, Gaurav. I had a question about CCHS. If, if we can go back to that. Mm -hmm. So my daughter got three uh, eleven, uh, and we're in catchment. And for CSSC, sorry, she got three. Sorry, yes, Chelmsford or Colchester. Ch Chelmsford, Chelmsford. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is hundred and eleven. You said three hundred and eleven. No, no, no. It is. It should be somewhere. Oh, sorry, sorry, hundred and eleven. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Okay, okay, yeah, hundred eleven. Yeah, yeah. And then for CSSC was three o five. But if you look at the thresholds for the last three years, it's kind of gone up this year. So in the previous year, it was one o seven, one o eight, and then before that, it was one o four, one o five. And then the last year just gone. It's gone up to one hundred eight, one hundred nine. So it's just above the the threshold. So we were wondering whether Chelmsford is a is a safe choice, or should we? No, but move? this year, if I'm if the hundred and. So are you outside or inside, sir? We are inside. So for inside, the minimum cutoff is one hundred and five this year, right? It's one hundred eight. One hundred eight. Yes, that's what it said in the email. Last year it was hundred one o five, so they increased it by three points. Oh my god! Yes, uh, so, I think it, mm -hmm. is it is still safe because last year, uh, I know a kid who scored hundred and nine. She got into CCHS. Yeah. So, even if you consider a jump of two points. Yeah. Still, but the only thing I'm now worried about, they increase the three pointers from one o five to one o eight, which is giving you a hint that the marks are going up this year for CCHS. So that the total, uh, like number of eligible candidates which they select based on the pans, the eligible candidates cut off mark is increased. This is mm -hmm. what I'm telling now. Yeah. So if you compare the difference between last year 109 minus 104 for five, so it's a four uh, points extra. Mm -hmm. uh, this year 108 plus four is 112. So you are just on the border, sir. But you might get it because CCHS. I heard that few of the questions were kind of like uh, again uh, causing trouble to the girls. Yeah. It should be okay. You, Even if you are on border, you might still there. Yeah. Fifty-fifty chances you you are gonna get it. 
So, so there, the, there is a higher risk there, isn't there? Then, if it, we move, it is, it if we move to, correct, yeah. So, so with three hundred five at CSSE, is it a is it a safer option to move correct. to South End? Correct. So, three hundred five, you you are gonna get West Cliff and South End both. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And if if they do increase, so is that threshold for one hundred nine? Is that at, on offer day or is that um by hmm. uh, by that, entry? That, that, that's from the waiting list. Uh, this is what I remember, to be honest. Mm. But again, uh, I might be wrong, sir. Uh, you need to just quickly check. Or if you ping me, I can just find out from my notes and then I can update you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, cheers. Hello, sir. Hi, what? This is Rivani. My daughter has scored in Kent 323 out of 332. Uh, we are already we are saying it now. We are out of catchment. Is there any possibility for updating? Uh, sorry, Srivani. Uh, 323 uh, for CSSC, you said? Yes, yes. 323. Uh, yeah, 323. 323, and you are considering outside catchment? Yes, yes. No, we are it, saying will, it will be very difficult, even for South End, the outside catchment. I think for girls last year, what? 324, Srivani. And for West Cliff, I think it was around 342. Oh, yeah, she, she scored. But if you move inside catchment, it is going to be confirmed. See it. It is going to be confirmed. Correct. But oh, Tiger, October is the last day. Yeah, when is the last day for uh, moving? Is that 31st? Uh, oh, no. So for uh, West Cliff and South End, it's the last Friday of November. Which is, I think, 27th or 28th of November. Okay. So, because uh, we have to, I think uh, this day, there is only one month of time, I think so. Correct, correct. I think, uh, is there any 100% hundred uh, percent surety? I'm not asking you surety, please don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It, will be it will be 100% uh, uh, surety if you move inside the catchment. Correct. Uh, could you please tell me the name, Salim, Southern and... Southern and West Cliff both. You are going to get both. Southern and West Cliff for 323 marks in our Correct. Game. Correct. Hi, Gaurav. It's Pooja here. Yeah, Pooja. Yeah. Thank you uh, so much, Gaurav. No problem. Thank you. So Thank you. I, have, I have a question about uh, Colchester Girls Count Grammar School and the Chemsford. Yeah. So she has, go and we are out, um, outside Catchman. We live in London. And uh -huh. we are prepared to move to either of these cities. Yeah. Uh, so her Chelmsford score is one twenty four outside catchment, and uh, Colchester is three eighty three. So a, I mean, are these numbers sufficient enough to get a place in both the schools? Yes, both ones, correct. Okay. B is and um, this is where I'm a bit confused. Like since I'm moving, so I'm okay moving anywhere, uh, both the cities. Which one is better? Because I'm getting mixed opinions when I'm checking with people or checking online. So do you so have where, any? Where do you issue? work? Puja. Uh, I work in London, but very okay. occasional travel, very occasional. So I'm absolutely fine spending a couple of hours extra uh, considering okay. Colchester. Uh, CCHS is going to be better. Uh, there are multiple reasons. One okay. is definitely the connectivity uh, because Chelmsford connectivity yeah. to London is very good. The second yes. is I know a lot of parents whose kids are going into Colchester Grammar Girls one, uh, they are still living in Chelmsford, but on the Colchester side. So it is going to be 40 minute one side uh, transport time uh, with okay. the, the coach stay. And, but I don't recommend that because CCHS is ultimately better in most of the forms. Another thing is for the A levels, when the kids normally move because of the subject choices, the CAGS one is just opposite the road. So all the things are very uh, convenient for the kids. Another thing is the community. If you uh, are uh, like too enthusiastic about the community programs, then uh, Chamsford has got a lot of things which will keep okay. you busy. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Can I can I ask you a similar question with regards to Thornbridge and Dartford, please? Um, you know, same comparison that you've done with the other uh, schools. Right. So Thornbridge Wells is well connected, 
and uh, tonbridge uh, t o n tonbridge yeah. but tonbridge versus what tonbridge versus dartford girls so definitely dartford girls okay because of the connectivity because a lot of uh, parents normally are working parents right yes yes so they they prefer to be uh, in london i know plenty of parents who are actually living in dartford and they are happy okay so go for dartford girls if you get it in terms of schools which one would you recommend like in terms of education and the, you know you've, you've said quite a few points for colleges Dartford is better. Dart Dartford is definitely. Oh, you are comparing with Colchester. No, uh, comparing with Tonbridge, T O N Tonbridge okay. and Dartford Com girls. Comparing with Tonbridge, Dartford is much uh, much better. Oh, in terms of uh, education and education, then the education, extracurricular, everything basically because Dart everything. because okay. Dartford uh, girls is more super selective, and even in higher ranking, if you consider it is is it it is considered better. Even it's more famous in uh, in the parents. Whose kids actually used to go there? Ah, okay. Dartford girls compared to Tunbridge girls as well as Tonbridge. Correct. You prefer so they always, Dartford? They always Dart keep Dartford girls as the number one priority than uh, uh, either Tonbridge or Tunbridge because there is not massive massive uh, difference as right. per academics in both. Ah, okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, Avi Ras Tiwari. Yeah, uh, uh, Gaurav, uh, on the same question, so how do you rate Townley or grammar school for girls with the Dartford grammar school for girls? So Townley, you meant uh, the Bexley, Bexley. One, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dartford is better compared to Townley, ma'am. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Anybody else has got questions? Uh, Gaurav, hey, Gaurav, Saurav here. So uh, I, I yes, Saurav. About the schools, right? because for boys. They have not given any ranking. Uh, sort of. Uh, can you repeat what was that? Yeah. So it's for the certain boys' schools. So yes. they have not given any ranking or score, right? Hmm. So I think we were certain girls, right? So which is again going down? Is it me or everybody else? Uh, it's for um, us as well. I think his. Yeah. Sort of something his is wrong with your. I think headphone or whatever you are using it. Maybe meanwhile is it better now? Yeah, it's better, much better. Okay, yeah. So I was asking about the certain boys, right? So certain. Um, so my kid has uh, uh, the eligibility for certain grammar as well as world exams, right? Uh -huh. And uh, since they have not given any score and uh, there is no ranking as such, right? Mm -hmm. So how to how to identify, or it is just like a guess game whether we will get so it or not. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It is a blind game this year, to be honest. Uh, but again, if your kid has got Wellington and Sutton both, then that means he has got good marks, which is above the threshold of the Sutton Grammar boys. Okay. Right? Because Wellington is more uh, popular with the parents, and they normally okay. keep that higher. So that means you can get Wellington as well as Sutton. But even if you don't get Wellington, you might get certain. Okay. And since we are outside catchment, so do you know what is the breakup for outside and inside catchment? Uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but if you can, if you message me, I will find it out in my notes. Okay. And, and uh, another question. Yeah, yeah. So, another thing is, right, so... My kid just missed a uh, Wilson by one mark in English. Uh -huh. Can I appeal it? Uh, so there are no uh, four or five rounds of the markings done by Wilson. Okay. Even even they do different software checking for the GL, and also uh -huh. in house they have got three rounds for the teachers checking three to four rounds. Okay. There are three less chances. You can try. There is no harm in doing the appeal. But the chances okay. are that it's going to be the same, to be honest. Because, the, the, yes. So, since, since if let's say if I go for appeal, right, I'm not sure how much time it will take. So, obviously, I can't uh, put it in. Yeah, it will be, it will be done after, uh, I think, uh, normally they start working on the appeals after the uh, national uh, offer day. 
but okay. again every school has got different mechanism so even if uh, you can try they might do it earlier but after uh, national offer day they they definitely try to do it as soon as possible but in that case i don't have to put it in cap right or i have to uh you can put it in cap try 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 to speak to uh, wilson and uh, then try to find out whether they can do it before cap or no because okay. if you don't put it in a uh, cap then it's a special case where you will closely work with wilson and mm -hmm. if your appeal is successful and your kid has got another uh, is is uh, having the score which is beyond the last allocated cutoff score of wilson mm -hmm. so you need to also keep in mind that there are four times of the actual seats which wilson has selected yeah i got it right so still no, his overall score is a bit good uh, only only challenge was for the english with a one mark so that's why i was it's, hoping it's, for yeah, that it's very less chances but again okay, you fine. never know uh, if you try sure. maybe it might work but uh, the chances are very bleak to be honest man okay and in in terms of wellington and sutton you said that wellington is higher priority uh... that's what parents always say correct wellington is higher than they put uh, sutton but again okay. uh, as uh, as i told you uh, yeah, please do your research and based on your uh, preferences and scenarios put the schools accordingly so and uh, as compared to for wellington so wellington versus bexley which would be a better one wellington is better thank you uh, and uh, as compared to judd uh, how do they rank uh, sutton so and wellington judd is 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 very super selective in kent even okay. the the cutoff for jard goes higher than dartford boys always i think last year was somewhere around 406 okay. and dartford boys was 392 yeah because uh, my kid has a good score in kent uh, uh, so if i move I, I think it's definitely i will get it yeah, yeah, yeah. but so but that's why i was thinking look at the location as well and your connectivity your jobs Okay. Community, a lot of factors are there. Even even talk to your kid, uh, because Judd and the Dartford locality is like there is a lot of difference. So you need okay. to go there. Maybe go for the open day. Talk to the kids. Look at the gendry as well. Look at the ratio in the uh, school as well. So that all these matters a lot. Okay. Uh, just adding to this, how about Skinners when compared to Judd and Dartford, please? So the cutoff oh, for Skinner. Skinner. Uh, in the spinner, I think you have got 365 and 372. So okay, this it, is, it is below in the ranking, to be honest, compared to Dartford and Jord. Uh -huh. but, so because, uh, yes. because we are moving into Kent, I just want to have a doubt. So mm -hmm. we are uh, the, uh, the cutoff date is December uh, something. 8th so, of December. 8th of December. Uh, 8th of December. 8th of so if we, like if, we, if we move in uh, December 1, Mm -hmm. Do we have to provide the proof right away because only only the rental separate... agreement you need to provide if they okay are... because I see somewhere in council tax and all because only if we stay yeah, there yes. for one the month count, yeah the council tax need to be provided maybe after two three months but that should actually cover the date it should be before eighth or twelfth cutoff okay because they will yeah. use the council tax to validate your residency in the property. Okay, thank you very much. And also, my son used your mocks, and it was really helpful for him to compare with the cohort, and that oh, enabled him to go up in a score. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Gaurav. Can you help us? Can we talk about Latima, please? Yes, tell me. So, um, I my son, he's in the top seven hundred in Latima. He's done the second round of um, Day Malisovan exams. Uh, obviously, we're waiting for the uh, second round result for both the schools. Now, um, I mean, first of all, which one would is much better in your opinion, Latimer or Daymalis? Latimer, definitely. Okay. And supposing because of the sibling prior priority, if we put Daymalis over and he doesn't make it and Latimer is our second choice, mm. would we still get Latimer? If he's on the waiting list and we're in the catchment, yeah, yeah, he if, would. Yes, because uh, last year Latimer, I think, uh, 
selected even the list goes for, went quite down to be honest but again i don't have uh, the exact number i think they selected all the all the kids uh, from the top 350 so that was the uh, the stat i remember uh, but again i don't exactly remember the marks to be honest but if you compare the academics latima is definitely better but again considering your scenario because your kid is already going in damage so he will definitely get the subsection so the sibling uh, preference so if he, you don't get it you will be in the waiting list for them alice and if you get uh, latimer then it's 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 going to be good if you don't get latimer then you will be in the waiting list for latimer as well oh. So, Gaurav, I have one question. Like, is the Wellington give any dates for the waiting list when they exactly give publish the waiting no. list? So it is it is time to time. It depends as and when the kids leave, they 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 reject the offer. Mm -hmm. This this actually happens even uh, in the, till the middle of the year seven as well. So uh, there is no uh, specific date, but yes. Whenever there is a movement and you are in the waiting list, you will hear about it. Okay, thank you. Hey, Garo, uh, Ajit here. <clears throat> uh, yes, again, yeah. Tell, uh, tell me something first. How was your experience with us so far? Yeah, so it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Uh, we you. have just uh, taken mock, and uh, it was lovely. And your support and the community, everything was wonderful. I was expecting you on Sunday, Viraj. I, I thought like you were going to be coming. Oh, yeah, okay. I missed it. Um, <laughs> his trophy got missed. <laughs> I know you missed the trophy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell me. So, again, uh, QE versus Wilson. Uh, so, again, we are confused. You have already answered. I'll just listen yes. to your answer. I yes. just want to know some negative points of QE. Like, one is the computer science is not there, right? Yes, but you have got uh, robotics there. Uh, robotics is there, yeah. Robotics in Wilson is also there. Correct. Uh, computer science, they but they have the technology, right? And they cover all these in there. But again, if you are talking about explicit uh, computer science, then yes, that one is not there. But when I talk to the uh, the school uh, guardian, like in the uh, parents meeting, yep. I, I talked about this as well with the uh, headmaster. So he told me that uh, whatever CS curriculum is there, we are going to be covering that as a part of technology as well. Okay. And uh, considering my experience so far with uh, QE, like uh, I think I'm happy with uh, Ashman's performance. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also know uh, Wilson kids. I also know uh, Santolov kids. Basically, uh, your kid is quite brilliant, uh, Amit. So he will excel. No matter wherever the wherever the kids go, they normally excel. Okay. So okay. these these are like as a parent we really worry about. But uh, believe me, these are secondary factors. All these super selective schools are brilliant places. If your kid get into it, then you are not gonna be worried. They will just themselves. They will be self learners. Yeah. True. And one more question uh, for the lower priority. So he has secured 407 in CSSE. So yeah. I am confused to put the Colchester upper or Kex, which one I should put up? Uh, I think, where are you based currently, Amit? Um, I am based in Canary Wharf, but definitely we will move. <laughs> so as a as a local gen, do you need to come to London as well? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. So, if there is such a requirement, then definitely you will have to live in uh, Chelmsford. Okay. Correct. And yeah. if you're living in Chelmsford and your kid is going to Colchester, then it's a it's a bit of like pain for the kid. And you are not talking about massive academic performance differences. You are only talking about a few, uh, like 2-3%, 4% performance differences. So, it's not massive difference. It just need to uh, show it to uh, Aviraj, uh, which school he likes most, and then go for it. Okay. Yeah. So the best school I in is Hi, Gaurav. Uh, as you said, for the kegs, uh, uh, how many mark will be needed for out of cashment, like um, this year? 
my son has called uh, 365 365 for uh, out of catchment out of catchment i think last year was 376 but i think this year uh, considering few questions in cssc maths were hard so i think it might go somewhere around 372 373 as well so nobody knows manisha that's what my hunch is uh, after talking to the kids and the parents so that is what it is. But again, 360 plus, if you move inside, you are going to get it. Uh, also, uh, uh, move, if if we move uh, back to Kent, so he has, he has got a, around 397. So would he be, uh, would he have a chance for Dartford Grammar uh, out of catchment? Uh, yeah, he has a fair chance. But again, this year, nobody knows because they have uh, reduced the outside catchment seats. Uh, so looks yeah. like this year it's going to be going somewhere around 405 plus to be honest because there are only 50 seats for outside catchment this year not uh, okay. 90 seats uh, so that has got a lot of trouble for the parent now yeah so I don't know to be honest uh, below 405 is looking a little bit uh, on the borderline Okay, and uh, I just want to move back to Satan a bit. So uh, he has uh, qualified for all three of the schools. Right. And I heard you mentioning that if your kid has, you know, done uh, well in most of the grammar school exam, then he'll have a fair chance for Wilson. Correct. Correct. So because for uh, my son, I mean, he, as I already mentioned, uh, we already mentioned score for him for Kent and um, uh, CSSC. Uh, yeah. Do you think he would have fair chance for Wilson? Uh, so because he, yeah, he has uh, uh, he, he has scored uh, uh, above threshold for QE as well, uh, not really in line with the cutoff last year, but it's about threshold. Okay. So so we are just thinking because obviously as you mentioned, Saturn is a kind of a blind game this year. Yeah, yeah. Saturn, so that's the reason we were a bit confused in terms of the fact that should we you know kind of move Kex into our priority above Wilson or probably uh, give Wilson more priority because we, our heart kind of goes with uh, Wilson, but like mine says that Kex is more practical given the commute and right, things like that. We are based in that bridge basically. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is uh, what uh, most of the parents are doing. If they are based in Red Bridge, they are actually moving uh, into uh, Essex. That is actually more practical approach because once they move, the seat is confirmed. Right. Uh, if your kid has liked Wilson com more compared to the other two and uh, you don't get Wilson, then it's a kind of like heartbreak for the kid and you have already moved there. Certain, there is a lot of <laughs> traffic issues. Don't negate it. Uh, because nearing all the certain grammar schools, every day it's just like too much traffic jam. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we go for certain, obviously we'll move there eventually. Yeah. But yeah. then it's it's just a matter of, you know, because because certain is usually a, uh, it's, it's a blind game, as we say. Correct. But then I if he has got a fair chance, then we would like to go for that. Correct. But then Kex is more practical. That's what we Definitely. think. Definitely. Uh, uh, that is the comparison which you need to do now, uh, Rahul, to be honest. Uh, uh, considering this uh, blind game thingy in Sutton, it, it really made the things very uh, difficult, practically, for the parents. And to be honest, I really don't know uh, how can we as a, as a teacher, as a tutor, uh, or a mock provider advise you where there are wow. a lot of uncertainty, right? Uh, yeah. Every school has uh, selected four times of their seats. Yeah, it's, I think certain. I think Wilson mentioned about six seventy what they have selected. But then, wouldn't this be shared across three schools, isn't it? No. No. See, every school has maintained. It. Wilson. Wilson has three. Uh, sorry, Wilson has seventy. Seventy. Uh, Saturn has selected 918. Sorry, you, you, your voice is again... 918 Correct. for Saturn. Correct. 
No, but as like my son has clear uh, three of these, so he is common in all three school, right? So like he mother students are also there who have clear all the, these three no, schools. No, no. So the the same number of uh, kids are not same for every school, Manisha. So okay. Wilson is maintaining its own list. Wellington will maintain its own, and then similar for Sutton. Okay. <laughs> So like the example which just the, the uh, parent gave, so they selected, Wilson selected 670, right? Yeah. After, after deducting sports and all the special category, they have around 148 seats, I think, this year. But I might be wrong, but based on last year's stats, they, they had around 145, 148 seats. And now if you multiply it, it is straight away four times. So that is the... Uh, like pathetic situation for this year, we don't know what to do. After but there will, but there will be some overlap between the kids, right? If not yes, fully, say if if yeah. let's say Wilson is not kids. a subset of certain grammar school right. selection, but then right. there will be some overlap. Whoever whoever passed Wilson, they are automatically in the list for Sutton and Wellington. Whoever okay. passed Wellington, they are automatically in the list of Sutton. So that's how the things are working. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, as you uh, said before, that uh, Colchester is having more technology thing compared to Kex. Correct. Not more the technology thing. The thing is, they start early. Yeah. Kex start in the GCSC. They start in the KS3. Yes. Okay. So how can we know about all this stuff? Like we miss the... <laughs> uh, the Colchester Royal Grammar School open day due to some health issue. No, but so we were not able to, to attend it. Yeah, you can go to their website and everywhere it is mentioned what is the KS2 syllabus, oh sorry, KS3 syllabus, GCSC and A-level. And then you can do the comparison, Manisha. Okay, so for the same with uh, KEGS as well. Correct. Okay, yeah. Cool. Hi, Gaurav. Okay. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Hi, Gaurav, can I ask you a question, please? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, Gaurav, so um, we're waiting for Redbridge result, Woodford County, for my daughter. Oh, it didn't it, come today? No, it hasn't. It hasn't been announced yet. <laughs> yeah, the, the last guy. ones, I think, the, no, I don't know <laughs> what to say. Um, but okay. my daughter has scored 352 in CSAC. So oh, I, I mean, based on based on um, previous sort of scores, um, it feels like she can qualify for Colchester champ. And she has also passed the... Um, Chelmsford okay. one as well, so she can qualify yeah, Colchester, cool. Chelmsford, and Southern Westcliff. If we were right. to um, set a priority, what would be your recommended ranking? Uh, so uh, you are based in Redbridge currently, right? Redbridge, yes. And yeah, and we'll and go. the other factor is that if I want to move, I can move, but mm -hmm. I've got young kids with primary school, so I just feel like you know maybe it's going to be quite disruptive. For some time until they get space in the primary schools there. So any place you uh, plan to move, make sure you have got boys and girls both because you have got the other siblings as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And you need to also look at the factors, like what if the they are academically not very strong kids, then even if they are doing okay, what are the options you are going to get as a part of the local uh, uh, state schools as well as more options for the grammar school. So, for example, mm -hmm. if you move to Chelmsford, right, you have mm -hmm. you have also got Royal, uh, Royal Colchester and mm -hmm. then you, there is a very good connectivity from Chelmsford to Southend and Westcliff. So, kids okay. might be there around like 35-40 minutes the coach stays. Mm -hmm. Right. And also the local uh, state schools are very good in Chelmsford compared to Colchester as well as Southend and Westcliff. Okay. So considering all these options, I think the best bet for you will be Colchester or Westcliff. Because when you move to Westcliff, you have got two grammar schools and there are also two, three very good local state schools as well. If you move to Chelmsford, you have again got two uh, boys, which is uh, Colchester and Chelmsford. And also, you are going to be uh, getting local schools in Chelmsford as well. Uh -huh. So, it is it is kind of like uh, similarly, uh, 
these are the things which every parent normally consider uh, and mm -hmm. you are living in uh, currently uh, red bridge so i think mm -hmm. cchs is more approachable even if you don't move and you target uh, let's say in future ilford county then uh, red bridge is looking more practical option to me to be honest mate mm -hmm. and and you said cch cchs you said correct correct which is like chemsford uh, county that, that is chemsford county which is uh, and so from london to chemsford county is more practical in terms of commute like yeah, so uh, if you uh, your kid go from red bridge i think it is it is taking somewhere around 40 to 45 minutes in a coach right Okay. So if it, it is 40 minutes, then it is manageable. But the moment it goes above one hour, it is like next to impossible. Yeah. Yeah. That is the yeah. And between, just for ignoring any kind of other factors from academic side of things, if you were to rank the Colchester, Chemford. Yeah, Colchester, and... Colchester uh, the CC, CCHS is number one, then Colchester girls, then West Cliff, then South End. Okay. Okay. Hey, Gaurav, Thank you. Okay. Uh, I got a question. Hi. Hi, Gaurav. Hi. Hi. Gaurav. Yeah. Uh, my child has got a rank of 346 at Kent. 346 at Kent. 346 okay. in Kent. Yeah. And he narrowly missed sort of a, a Wellington Grammar School by just a couple of months. The cutoff was 177 in the second stage, mm -hmm. whereas he got 175. Oh, okay. Right. So, considering the scenarios here, I've got a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, one is, if I'm opting for Kent, because that is where he has qualified, yeah. what would be the possible schools which I should target? Right now, I'm out of catchment for okay. Kent as well. So, uh, I think super selective ones you are not going to get. So, if you, you Dartford, Judd, Skinners, uh, Tunbridge. So this will be out, but all the other ones in Kent are uh, you. You are gonna get. So any school based on your uh, local, uh, like your personal preferences, Maidstone one or maybe Invicta, or all these you are gonna get. Harvey you are gonna get. Yeah, Gravesend you are gonna get. Wilmington you are gonna get. So all all of these will be uh, coming to your way. So what was the second question now? Sorry. Yeah, the second question was if I had to apply for the cap form, okay, yeah. while the, my heart does sort of look at the possibilities of getting into some of the Kent schools, sorry, yeah. some of the certain schools. Mm -hmm. So when I'm filling up the cap form, should I only stick to the Kent schools or do you see a chance sort of putting the Wellington Grammar School as well as a higher preference there? Uh... But again, for if you if you target certain then you are going to be missing the Kent one, right? Yeah. So there you have multiple options and here you have only one option, right? Right, okay. So it is like multiple versus one. And then the other thing you need to be in a uh, like certain scenario where the seat is confirmed versus the possibility, possible scenario where you might or might not get it. Right. So as a parent, I think you should definitely opt the confirmed things, right? Why would you just do be doing uh, nail biting for a couple of months and then get to know that you don't want the seat? So it's like it's too much uh, problematic for the kid as well, right? They did right. so much hard work, so they deserve it uh, based on their score. So go for it. Uh, okay, so Gaurav, so is the idea is to sort of move into the catchment area in Kent exactly. and use all the options that are available in Kent itself. Exactly. Yeah, even if, even if you do it from here and then later on just initiate the transfer application, it is it's okay because you are you can as a professional as a parent you can think broadly now rather than moving into the catchment and along with other things because there will be plenty of things going on in your mind. Right. You will have more peaceful mind now, so better to do and nail it down now and just later on just. Send a single mail to your old county to transfer the application. That's it. Right. Okay. So spend, uh, I think this time spend wisely. Do all of your researches to local Kent schools and then also as a backup, look at the state schools and then go and uh, share everything. That will be better. Okay. Yeah, God of Deepak here. Is it, is it okay yeah. for me to sort of message you separately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's those okay. school names. That will be quite helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ping me. I will have to send you. Yeah, yeah. Deepak. Yeah.
Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that. Hi, Gaurav. Can I speak? Yeah. Thank you for your time, first of all. Yeah, I just wanted to ask Nina like, follow-up question regarding the same which the other person was asking. Like, yeah. For a child, for a boy who scored 352 in Kent. Yeah. So what are the the what are those schools you said like uh within catchment and out of catchment so within what catchment are... i think out of catchment uh i think you are going to miss most of them but within mm -hmm. catchment uh which uh really the parents like is uh gravesend they like they like also wilmington right mm -hmm. in the wilmington for boys there is a criteria where they only uh look for the uh i think two of the subjects so just look at this, uh, make sure that your kid is actually uh, above the threshold for that. Girls, so which two subjects? Only... Okay. Yeah, yeah, two subjects. I will I will send you the details. So last year, they only consider two subjects. And I think the last year uh, score for that was uh, 258, something like that, for Wilmington. Another uh, good school, uh, which a lot of parents also like, is Invicta. Very famous uh, within... The parents, Maidstone is also good. Uh, Highworth is also there, which is another one. Uh, uh, Skinners, uh, they said, like, I got a mail from them saying that a 343 is the score the previous year they've gone uh, the lower band within the catchment. It was 343, they said. For, for which school? Skinner. Uh, Skinner, I already told you, uh, Skinner is not 343. I think it was 365 last year. For inside catchment. How much was that? Sorry? 365. And outside catchment was around, I think, 372. Okay. But yeah, maybe it could be the waiting list because I sent it to the admission team. They sent me a mail from the school when I inquired them. You, can you forward it to me? Because uh, I think I pretty much uh, remember I picked up all the uh, waiting list scores uh, when I was making my notes. Uh, yeah, it was from the admissions, uh, which they said like the lower score in the bad. Are you sure that was not from the pupil premium or hand based or any special category? No, uh, actually, they didn't say anything as such. Yeah. Because I just that asked. Might like, be, that might be the case because normally the score of the special category kids is mm -hmm. quite slight lower compared to the normal score. So, for mm -hmm. example, uh, uh, I, I I think in uh, one of the school uh, school I was looking last year, and I think it uh, the pu the pupil premium was one ninety five, and the normal was uh, the normal cutoff score was two sixteen, so it's, there was like huge difference. So these are like special cases which uh, are treated as individual according to the local council and their uh, <laughs> commitment. So I don't know to be honest. I'm not aware of. Skinner's being uh, born to that much low, to be honest. Um, Caro, on that Thank subject, I mean, would you be able to kindly share us those, uh, you know, if you have everything in one place, all the uh, minimum scores uh, for inside, outside, for Kent or any other counties, would you be able to kindly share us so that at least we have something in, in place and we can, you know, refer back to? Uh, I, I, I don't have like uh, the scores in one place. It is like just after talking to parents like you. It's, ah, okay, it's, 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 okay. I remember now because I'm 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 talking to parents uh, every day. So many parents are asking. So that's the of course I remember. But oh right, okay. If I have something, I will I will try to find it out and say share with the group. That's uh, that would be great. Uh, everybody will be beneficial. I mean, it will be beneficial for everybody. Um, thank, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I got a last suggestion. Yeah. Tell me uh, if I can. Sorry, sorry. So, you were asking something, Udia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I have a question with regards to Chesham. We live in Hemel Hempstead. We are out of catchment for Bucks Chesham School. Yeah. Uh, but then last year, Chesham has taken kids from nine miles radius. We are, you know, our, our, the place where we no, are in is eight point something. No, and but those I've are seen... special cases, Udia. Uh, Bucks oh, is okay. very, very picky about the catchment. They they right. don't even consider out of the catchment application at all but when there is a point where the local uh, siblings priority takes place or another thing which they uh, uh, talk about some special parishes 
some right. uh, some other special category like uh, school governor spaces right so these will ah. come into the place where you will see these kind of allocation but again if you talk about the general category no you don't have the luxury uh, we don't have because we are like eight miles away we were thinking like yeah. is there a, a, a chance uh, uh, for getting into Chesham even though we are not in Bucks exactly. yeah. I know a lot of parents whose kids scored really good in Bucks but yeah. because the end date which was like 1st of September they couldn't move and that's the reason they couldn't even apply oh, no, even... They, they will be just uh, missing the place because Bucks is very strict about the catchment dates Catchment, okay, because my daughter scored really well as well, and unfortunately, yeah, okay. I know, I know. Okay, uh, okay. okay. thank you. Uh, just a last yeah, question Deepak for Deepak Kent. Uh, Gaurav, thank you, Gaurav. Uh, for, so, yeah, for... Deepak, Deepak was actually planning to say something, and it's trying quite uh, from quite some time. Yeah, Gaurav, I need a few, yeah, few Deepak, months. Tell me quickly. Yeah, so you know, right, Devesh, I just scored very well in all the all the. All the exam, like be it as a Kent, C yeah. CSSC, Bexley, he has scored very well marks, and he is on a par with all the all the other students. So my only concern is that if mm -hmm. I, as you know, that he has already got the Wilson. So yeah. my only concern is that if I go for the Wilson, I, I give give the preference as a Wilson and second as Bexley, and if on the later round, since in the certain I don't find any of the schools for the girls. So that is the right. only problematic I can see for the for the second kid, and now for the Bexley I have multiple options for girls. Even I can get a sibling preference here. So right. which one do you like me to prefer? Means Wilson is anyway everyone knows that it's very difficult to get into the Wilson, and he has already gone in. He has already got the Wilson. That's for sure because yeah. we got, we got uh, the details from the. This is what we already covered now. So Wilson has selected six hundred and seventy kids this year. Yeah. Right. So out of 142 to 48 seats, whether your kid is going to get or not get, it's a probability. Okay. Yeah. The second thing which you talked about, the second kid. So there, yeah. are, there are two girls grammar school, right? And then yeah. you put the mixed one. Uh, so you, you have the local girls grammar schools as well in the Sutton County. So if you get Wilson, I think you, you should put Wilson as a first choice and yeah. you will have local girls grammar school as well. Like, uh, so that should be good enough for you as a parent. And then the local state schools are very good also in uh, Sutton. No, except I'm only worried about the girls' grammar school in certain because I can Why? see only one one of the only one girls' grammar school, non such or non such. Yeah, girls non, grammar such school. non such is there, and then you have got your Wellington girls is there, and then you have got your I think. Uh, Sutton uh, is mixed. I'm not hundred percent sure now. No, 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 it's a certain certain school for boys only. It's, it's only for boys. So you have two. The, but green store is no, not, green a, is not a good school. It's, it's a kind of a not a not yeah, a standard school. Still have two schools, there is, and Wellington Girls is good school. To be honest, I, I know a couple of girls are going there who are like friends of mine, and they always uh, praise about it. Nonsuch is definitely one of the good school, one of the great school to be in. But uh, even Wellington is also very good. So you still have two schools, girls. If you stay in Baxley, yes, definitely there is one thing that it's easy to get into Baxley schools compared to the certain schools. Because in certain, you have fierce competition for every single place in non-search as well as in Wellington. And sibling preference will not be there in the certain as well. Exactly. That is another factor. Correct. Okay. And the other thing is that... Uh... I mean the the Bexley grammar is covering the IB pattern, which I don't see any anywhere in any Dartford other. Dartford also has got Dartford boys. Dartford, yeah, Dartford. If I if if I Dartford, he has clear. He has got more than four hundred marks. So, oh, so that, it's better I can move to the Sutton rather than going into the Dartford. That's what I'm thinking. You are moving into Sutton now, right? That's what you are saying. Yeah, Dartford. If I apply for the Dartford, he will definitely give me get because he got more than four hundred marks. Yes, correct. So, so only thing, and so the, and I am just considering Bexley grammar but, because but, Bexley but, Bexley yeah. pattern is IB pattern, isn't it? So IB has got a more kind of it's no, a world world, world need, recognized university than US and other. What you need to think about is if your if your son doesn't get Wilson, what is the backup? Backup is Bexley Bexley grammar. So Bexley or Bexley or that that also. 
So Deve, Devesh is in top uh, 180. Right. Yeah, yeah, he he is gonna he is granted any any. Okay, so in that it. case, yes, makes sense to me. Then you can you can uh, put uh, Wilson as a first choice, second Dartford, Grammar if you like it, and then Baxley or whichever. Okay. And how about the queue? He 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 crossed the queue cut off. So do you want me to put the queue as well? Uh, in the queue is gonna be he will get it, but the again the thing is you have only HBS there. Yeah, only HBS is and there. It is gonna be nail biting. It's like too tough to get into HBS. To be honest, uh, Deepak. So yeah, yeah. do your math, and if you need any advice, just uh, call me up. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have one last thing. Yeah, so one yeah, thing. Yeah. So so if 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 we get into the Wilson, and if I don't select it, if I go for the Bexley, so what is the probability chance that I should get the Bexley grammar? Means if I don't, if I can reject Wilson grammar. If you are not uh, getting the Wilson, then uh, it is the highest priority. You are going to get either the Dartford or the Bax Baxley is confirmed, right? Uh, if I reject it, if, if I reject the Wilson after getting the offer letter. Oh, then it will be a trouble. If you reject it, then you will be in the waiting list. And Even if, even if he's in top 180. Correct. Because, okay. because you, once you accept it, then they will... The, the, just put you in the next in line which you have put but the places are not there or there it will be only they will find it out after the people actually accept or reject the places because what they will do they will just pick up the scores and start away allocate the places based on the priority order for the kids right okay. if there are 180 seats they would already by the time you reject or accept they would already have allocated the 180 seats to all the kids so okay. now when, when they accept or reject then they will consider you because you are the highest again scorer then you might get you might not get it that's how it is going to be working okay okay is it is it fine if i can put bexley and bexley as a first and um, wilson as a then obviously in the first place first option i will definitely get then in that case they will simply reject my second option wilson as wilson as second option no, no, no. I think there is a confusion. Uh, let, let's discuss it offline. I think you okay. have a okay, confusion. Sir. I got up. I got up. This is regarding for Kent. Um, Kent, yeah. I think I was asking again the, the same question. Uh, for 345 marks, what would be your uh, three choices uh, for Kent? For 345 marks. Also, for, for, girls, for girls. 345. Uh. I think I'm, I'm looking nearby think, some London area as well because near, I need to come in. Okay. Nearby London area, then you can uh, look for Gravesend, Wilmington. Okay. Uh, you can also look into Maidstone one as well. Maidstone. Invicta is also okay, uh, reachable. Okay. Okay. And um, I think from the in the top three choices, are, are they come into the catchment area if I move uh, in one of the places? Uh, no, uh, yeah, Wilmington and Gravesend, they kind of uh, share uh, the, the the catchment, catchment area. Uh, some of the catchment postcodes, I know that. Okay, and and the Wilmington for girls, uh, is there any specific criteria like for boys they consider? Uh, yeah, two yeah. so they 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 consider math score. I think minimum they consider one hundred and twenty six. If I am not wrong, one hundred and twenty six. So, correct. Oh, uh, I think uh, my daughter has got one one five in maths. Uh, Oh, okay. So, Wilmington won't be considering uh, 115. Okay. They, that I... they explicitly mentioned it. Okay. Then I need to go for Mayfield, right? Yeah. Mayfield is okay. That is also good. And Invicta could be the second option. Correct. And the third, uh, what you would recommend? Uh, rest of the others are pretty much same, uh, to be honest. But uh, that would be out of catchment. Correct. Okay, so maybe I can put first Mayfield and the second Invicta and the other one out of catchment. Whichever, anyway. whichever, whichever you like, yeah. Okay. No all the all the other one will be just using the distance calculator to find it out. Which is uh, the nearest. Correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. No problem. Thank you so much, Guru. No problem. Cheers. Same follow follow Hi, question. The same follow up question. What would be the same if it is as Three, uh, 372 for the Kent area. What would you recommend for the top three for boys? Uh, top three for boys? Uh, yeah, I think 372. 
if you move, you can get Judd, to be honest, yeah. at 372. Yeah. Uh, Skinner, you will get. Yeah. Uh, you will get Tunbridge Wells also. These are three boys. boys. Boys, yes. Ah, okay. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Uh, but regarding CSSC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I need some comparison between Westcliff and Southend. Like, uh, I whatever I have uh, come across is like Westcliff is more, uh, academic oriented, and Southend is like academic plus sports. So my daughter. Uh, she has, uh, I mean, she likes sports as well, like chess, cricket, tennis, she plays it. So how do you think, like, you know, uh, Westcliff also I've seen there are many clubs, I mean, on, on the portal. So yeah. um, like when you say academic wise, Westcliff is better and like so choice it, preference. It is, yeah, yeah, it is again, uh, it depends which, uh, what do you need from the school? So when you say academic wise, so uh, for example, Westcliff girls in GCSC, they this year they scored around seventy eight percent, right? South end for girls they scored seventy four percent, and if you consider A levels, then Westcliff girls scored around sixty nine percent, but South end girls scored seventy seven percent. But the thing is, there is also a Sixth form transfer. So what normally happened, the Westcliff girls move from Westcliff girls school to South End for uh, girls schools. And facility wise, I think pretty much both are same. I haven't uh, heard from any parent which uh, told me that uh, the like as per the sports, Westcliff has less focus compared to South End. Okay. I know about the okay. because there is a lot of like clubs I have. I, I know where yeah. the kids are going in Westcliff as well. Okay. And, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like not that massive difference. Just go yeah. and check whichever uh, uh, like environment you your daughter is liking, go for it. Yeah, it's actually different. we, yeah, both are area wise also both are similar and we like yeah, the south end place yeah. as well. It's yeah, it's in the same uh, area. So there's it, hardly any Correct. difference. And uh, we are currently out of catchment and we'll be moving inside catchment because my daughter scored as score, CSC score is 316. Yeah. So I think it's pretty much safe for both uh, the options. Yeah, yeah. Inside catchment, so we are going to go both. But one thing yeah. you uh, just uh, remember that most of the parents normally keep Westcliff higher compared to yeah. the second. Yeah. So you think we should also keep the same preference because whatever we keep as first would that would definitely would be Correct. that would be uh, yes straight away yeah yeah and uh so is it i mean uh and also one point like i came across uh, today's meeting that uh mm -hmm. called just a grammar girl school it starts the tech i mean the technology is the computer science subjects much earlier so Correct. any insights come uh, like how about in, Westcliff or South End? In, in Westcliff and South uh, End, there is no such difference. They are pretty much same, uh, following the same pattern, same uh -huh. curriculum, even the same boards as well in most of the subjects, STEM subjects. So there is not that much difference. Only the faculty's difference is there, especially in the sixth form. And that's the reason the girls normally move in sixth form. Okay. Okay. And uh, okay, my... Any any insights you have about Warwickshire schools yeah, like yeah. rugby? Yeah. So um, up till now, do you think that any out of catchment uh, case they have considered for maybe Ashlon or rugby high school? Because I'm, my... I'm not aware of uh, Deepthi, to be honest. Okay. Because we did give Warwickshire as well and her yeah. score is on borderline for rugby high school for girls. And uh, rugby, Ashlan. rugby is very strict until unless you are, uh, I think uh, rugby also take few of the places through the music uh, and the sports quota, right? So if you okay. are not coming by that, then uh, it's a big no for OOC in rugby as well. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, any idea about Ashlon non selective or selective? No, I don't remember now. <laughs> If you can, okay. if you send me the message, I might look into it, but okay. don't remember exactly because these are some edge cases 
if the parent is not talking to me i will forget <laughs> okay okay sorry yeah i'll text you but yes, because uh, there is ashlon selective which is a grammar school and there is yeah. ashlon non selective which is like a non grammar academy academy but, i know that yeah yeah but i've heard that you know the classes or you know the teaching for both the uh, is same and only for few subjects they have a separate class for uh, for the students who are selected under the grammar school so uh, it i mean i just wanted to ask would it be a uh, Uh, would it be a like you know a wise choice if we put ashlon as the last prior preference in the cap form being out of catchment if we move to south end yeah it doesn't it doesn't make uh, but again if you move to uh, south end then why do you want to lose one of the seat because ultimately you will be considered at oc there and uh, if you are saying that they are already doing the selective versus non selective then that means the non selective is a kind of state school and in the state yeah. school, the chances are very less for the oc because these are gov council governed places right and they and yeah. because the council is spending money then why would you why would the council let the school allocate the places to other council where they are not uh, putting any money so okay. the chances are very slim to be honest if you think yeah okay and uh, with this code do you think it is still okay to put colchester grammar school as one of the preference or we should consider uh, some other three what, what what's the part 316 uh, no it will be waste of uh, the space it will be waste another of another the... thing is they they have already implemented catchment from this year right yeah 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 so yeah we, even we if you could put it, you are not going to get it yes yes Move okay to, to the best okay 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 yes. yeah Girl, okay you... and uh, on the same topic um actually uh, my daughter scored the cchs uh, uh, 3 uh, sorry 113 yes. and uh, for the C cssc she got 334.5 mm -hmm. and uh, we are in chemsford right. so which one you think which one shall we give priority yeah. So if you are already in uh, Chelmsford, now I just go for CCHS. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. You you one one three you said right? Yeah. Yeah, you are gonna get it because this year one hundred and eight is the cutoff. Uh, yes. For inside catchment, and you are minimum five marks above, which is telling me that you have a very good uh, chances to get the seat. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Hi. Girl, hi, Gaurav. Can I? Uh... Sorry, if my child has talked to you about, she cleared CSSC um and Chelmsford, but she's also got three fifty five in Kent. If you compare Kent schools to the South End and you know these Chelmsford etc. Um, and I'm living in Redbridge. Mm -hmm. What what is the comparison like for Kent versus these schools? So, uh, you said three fifty five in Kent. and uh, how out of catchment i'm living in redbridge right so uh, for any uh, kent school you will have to move because you are not going to get oc seats based on 355 mm -hmm. so cssc what is the mark sorry uh, 352 and chemsford 115.5 115.5 so you are going to get uh, cchs easily uh, oh no sorry for outside catchment right yes it was 116 oh, no. 17 last year i think uh, it, it was 116 point something something uh, which was more closer to 17 so it was definitely 116.5 uh, something uh, above than 116.5 uh, i think again you you are on the borderline sir to be honest uh, you might get it uh, but again if you move then definitely It's hundred percent confirmed. Three fifty three. You said CSSC, correct? Yes, three fifty two. Three point four seven. Three fifty two outside catchment. Uh, I think Westcliff will be done. South End will be done. Uh, Colchester girls. Nobody knows, but again, I think three fifty two might work. Uh, but uh, it might be higher as well. Uh. because we we don't have the stats for inside versus outside catchment 
So considering all these options, uh, if you can move, move to Chelmsford to secure the place in CCHS. If you don't want to move, then you have the option of Westcliff and Southend, which you will. Do get. you know what was the um, post offer day final sort of a score on the Chelmsford for out of catchment? Any any views on that? Because I think that one sixteen yes. something was on the um was on the offer day. No, the offer day was one twenty one point zero five, sir. Right. Okay. Uh, one sixteen point something was from the waitlist movement. Okay. Okay. I got a, I've got a question. Sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, my my son scored in CSSC three six two point eight nine, and we we are eight nine. Okay. Three six two point eight nine. Yeah. And we are sort of uh, have limited our choices in top three, which is uh, kegs is one, but we think that's uh, got lower chance of him being accepted, and we are also uh, shortlisted. Colchester Royal Grammar School and Westcliff. So these are the three choices we have. Yeah. So in your opinion, what do you think that in terms of one, two, three? Where are you um, based? On? We are based in London. Right. So what is the plan for moving uh, in? Uh, if, if when 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 we get uh, whichever one, we will eventually have to move. We have that. That's on the cards. Yes, but I not do. straight away. Do you have any business or uh, job in London or how, how does it work? Uh, we will have to relocate considering those options as well. But okay. when, when we're going to relocate, we will relocate everything wherever we go. Okay. And uh, do you also have uh, other kids like boys? No. Okay. no. So that's the only boy you have got, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think if, that, if uh, location is not a constraint, then you can put number one as Colchester, second Westcliff, third is Southend. So we 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 said kegs. King King Edward is also in our preference list, although we know that's but, going to be difficult for him. So correct. is it do you think is it worth putting that in 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 the list so that maybe there is no off chance he is in the waiting yeah, list or anything. How many options you have got in your local county? I think six, right? Six, yeah. So in that case, uh, there is no harm in putting kegs as a number one. But again, last year was 376, sir. And there right. was not much movement in the waiting list. So there wasn't. No. So considering okay. 376 as the base score, even if it goes down maybe two, three points uh, this year, Right, three seventy two uh, can be considered, and if I consider three seventy two, then you are below then that right. Yes. Yeah. But again, you never know. Just put Cags as number one, Colchester seven, uh, second, Westcliff third, South and fourth, because you have six choices. So don't uh, keep it like blank. But for Col Colchester, we have got like a, almost like a sure shot. Is yeah. it? So uh, Colchester, you are gonna get definitely. Westcliff, you will get. South end you will get. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hi, Gaurav. Uh, sorry for uh, asking. No, sorry. It's all your speech today. Don't worry. <laughs> no, actually, the thing is that uh, my son is in year five this year. Yeah. And yeah. to be very honest, I I don't have more idea about the grammar school process mm -hmm. and all. Just now, this year, we have started for the preparation and everything because we were not sure whether yeah. we are going to stay in UK or not. Yeah. So at present, we are living in Swindon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we are planning to uh, apply for preparation of exam in Gloucestershire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are only seven grammar schools. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, I just want to ask you, is it a right time or will you recommend to move to any other place where the um, what you say catchment area is considered nearby Swindon. Say for example, Reading oh, Voice yeah. is very near to us. Right. So Gloucestershire don't have the catchment area conditions. Correct. correct like correct, anybody correct. can apply uh, even, for that. Yeah, yeah. Even even for Redbridge, oh sorry, uh, for Reading Boys, you also have uh, got the uh, the hostel places, right? Which is I think forty. 42, which are entitled for outside catchment uh, boarding, okay. places, boarding places. So uh, there is no issue even for that. 
but again that incurs some extra financial uh, things which uh -huh. you should be aware of but mm -hmm. again if you want to be uh, very sure and you want really good schools and location is not a constraint that mm -hmm. and want to easily uh, get into grammar school then uh, just move into bucks if you can so dr chalnes child like is is a very good school but there is a very critical condition they have got is the 18 months moment they want you to be 18 months earlier in the county uh, low, uh, if you are targeting dr chalnes and there dr chalnes okay i have not yeah very good school uh, mm -hmm. if you are uh, going into Essex or if you are uh, targeting maybe yeah actually Liverpool dependency driving. yeah dependency is that I need to travel Bristol Parkway once in a week yeah wow, okay so you my spouse to... is working from home that's not right. the issue but for me right. I will be traveling at least once in a week so I want better connectivity via train yeah, and all yeah. I think so, I think there are some places which I can uh, recommend to you uh, mm -hmm. if the case uh, mm -hmm. But let's let's first take care of all the year six parents you have. Yes, yes. So okay. I'll get in touch with. Yeah, yeah. you just ping me. I will. I will. I will just guide. Yeah, you. no problem. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for joining the call. Thank, thank you. Take care. Hi, Guru. Hi. Yeah, Rago. Yeah, hi, Guru. Hi, Krupa. Yes. Yeah. So the question is around uh the twelve plus and thirteen plus. Also, is there any? a list of schools who allow this that we can go for another exam and then we can join or is there a specific list of schools who allow 12 plus 13 plus uh no so not every school uh, do 12 plus and 13 plus that is the one thing the second thing normally 12 plus and 13 plus come into the picture when the uh, existing kids normally drop the school because of xyz reasons right yeah and yep. then they, they conduct this 12 plus, 13 plus. Uh, another thing which you need to consider is the, that is always there will be limited seats. So mm -hmm. you count them on, on the fingers, like few, four, five mm -hmm. seats, less than 10 in most of the schools. And again, yep. it is not uh, uh, normally, uh, nobody can guess how many seats are going to be there in the 12 plus, 13 plus. So I know that defense every year do uh, 12 mm -hmm. plus and 13 plus. I know a couple of Kent school, Dartford also does it. So it is it is actually depend on the uh, in, on school by school. So you, you can't just uh, uh, predict it uh, that uh, these are the schools which always do this. Okay. So, so the that, question is, so yeah. even if it's a Dartford, uh, is it like we have to apply from their own side or is there something? Yes. yes. Okay. So okay. 12 plus 13 plus will always be driven by the local schools, not by the county, sir. Okay, okay. So you need to keep an eye on your targeted schools. Whenever the places are open, you just need to straight away fill the form and start prepping it. So normally the exams happen in November. So next month, there will be 12 plus exams mm -hmm. in a couple of schools. Okay. And another question is like, uh, if uh, for uh, like, for Kiwi boys, uh, I've got the marks like around 226. So is it worth to put that uh, uh, in cap form or? Uh, how? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, QE score doesn't get that lower, sir. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, hi, Gaurav. Hi, Krish. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, I got a couple of questions. Uh, first okay. of all, uh, thanks for being so patient and answering. Uh, I think for the other parents as well, uh, what I have just going to the websites, everything, right? Definitely on every school website, they have mentioned detail. What's the last cutoff score they offered for in-catchment, out-catchment, and what's the distance? So if any of the parents are interested, they got that information if, to cross-check and make and sure they're getting the exact information. So I think that's you their... Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, all, all, all any schools kind of thing. So I got a couple of questions, right? Like, uh, telling you, it, yeah. it, it is, it is like too difficult to find out these scores. Yeah, they, obviously they just give till uh, maybe March allocation, but down the line again it changes, isn't it? So correct, correct. I got a couple of questions personal for me. So one yeah. is my son has qualified for the three of the geo grammar schools in Sutton. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. And and obviously they 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 don't give the rank or anything, uh, so right. we don't know which ones or which place he'll be there, yeah. and he is qualified for the the Berkshire uh, uh, schools as well, which we are local uh, to the Berkshire uh, Les Lau Langley kind of thing. So mm-hmm. now in the CAF, I don't um, I know a bit of the ratings, but is it from your experience? Can you you a bit of suggestion what kind of preferences should I go for it? Please, we got six places to mention in the CAF. So which one? Uh, you said three in the Sutton. Yeah, three Sutton. Right, and yeah. uh, uh, but in in that case only Wilson is out of uh, catchment, right, for Sutton. And you want to fill all the schools uh, being outside, or you want to? Uh, you are planning to move. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm flexible to move as well. So yeah. No, but this this decision will actually drive your uh, priority order, Chris, because if you plan to move. Then the yeah. things will all of a sudden uh, change, correct? Because yeah, I, I don't plan to know until the allocation, uh, until until March definitely, until I don't know, until I need to know. Yeah, no, but I will not are you now. planning to move before March or you are going to be doing it after March? After March, after March. Right. If that is the case, then Wilson is the only one, right? Which you have got based on the outside catchment. Otherwise, they will ask you to move inside. Okay, okay, but I, I thought it's other way. They got uh, for Wellington as well has got quite a lot of place for. There are few seats, but uh, yeah. again, the do you want to take that uh, risk? Because if your kid has cleared all the three, right, yeah. it makes sense to go inside because there will be definitely one of the uh, grammar school allocating the confirmed place to you. Now the question which you need to uh, think about is your local uh, Berkshire school, which yeah. one you are targeting in that? Oh, uh, Langley. Langley one. Uh, oh, you have got a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter as oh, well. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, for the lo- uh, Langley, you are in P1 or P2? Uh, P2. P2 or P2? Sorry, P2 you said? P2, 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 yeah. Right. So P2 and what is the mark? For, oh, for... 127. 127. Uh... I think you are going to get uh, Langley. Uh, let me try to remember. I think last year was 117, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. right. So uh, yeah. you will get Langley, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and then you you said non such. You have got. Sorry, you were talking about the boys or the girls? Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about the boys, my boy, but my daughter is small. Maybe down the line she might trick her, but ah, for okay. now it's a boy. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, you are going to get Upton as well. So you you uh, in the Berkshire, you have got Upton. And... Yeah, I'll get Upton as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and Herschel as well. But are yes. you in that four miles radius of Herschel or no? Yeah, we are. We are in four miles. So you have got Herschel as well confirmed. Yeah. You've got yeah. Upton as well confirmed. And then you have St. Bernard as well then. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you have got three confirmed places locally, and then you can fill the Wilson one from outside catchment as a number one priority. Yeah. And then you can fill also Wellington one. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Go for go for it. Because all the certain ones are better than the local one. So keep this so, in mind. Okay. Is all three better than local one, right? Yeah. Correct. Better than Langley as well from your experience. But Langley is girls one. No, it's quite. Langley? Yeah. I thought I remember it be it being a girl only. No, no, Beck Beckshire is all quiet schools. Ah, okay. This is news to me because I know it's an academy, it's not a uh, it's not like full grammar school, but uh, I was under the impression it is always girls. Okay, if it's a co-ed, again, uh, all the all the slow uh, schools are better than the uh, than your local ones. So, uh, certain are better than local uh, slow, yeah, ones, right? There, there is no there is no doubt about it. Okay. Because I know I know kid uh, being going in Langley and Upton Park as well. And uh, to be honest, this year if you look at the GCSE results, it's like pathetic. So I won't, uh, if you get the option to get into uh, Sutton, then go for it. There is no harm in doing it. So fill all the uh, three ones in your cap and uh, put, I think you have got four options. 
in Slough, six, right? Six, we got six, six. So you got six, then you, you put all the three remaining in your uh, in your local one. So put Langley on the top, Upton, and then Herschel. Okay, okay. Now the additional confusion comes. Sorry, I got about it, but yeah, my it. son did uh, Kent as well. I've uh, got a few of uh, extended family members in Dragford Drag around that area. So uh -huh. I was thinking that, but around 400 score for Dragford is not possible, right? Out of catch. Uh, no, I think this 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 year is going to be a little bit uh, higher. Uh, so you are going to be missing uh, Dartford, I think, definitely, because I'm expecting it to be somewhere around. 405, uh, 5, 6 minimum based on the movements. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking tough, sir. But again... Is, uh, it, it, is it because of the amount of seats has been reduced? Correct, that, correct, so. correct. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, thank you. It's quite confusing to fill the I form, know, really. It is, so. it is a tough time for parents every day. Things will change. You will again start doing the analysis, come to the conclusion, and discuss it with the friends and families. It will again change. So, so they should have given the Saturn, right? If they, I know they don't want to give them a rank for a reason, but it's yes. quite confusing for the parents. Actually, they, they made it really difficult for the parents of this year. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. So, thank you, Hugo. Yes, yes. Hi, Gaurav. Hello. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks for your help. And Hi, Vidya. I, I need to first ask uh, how how's your experience with that? I think you gave a few mocks with us as well, right? Uh, Sujita here. Uh, oh, it's Sujita. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. My son has cleared uh, uh, three um, schools from Sutton. We are staying in Croydon. So mm -hmm. he is eligible for Wilson and Sutton Grammar and Wallington. Right. And uh, he has got uh, 364 marks in Kent exam. So we have only these two options, like Sutton and Kent. So right. uh, how we should rank this um, this one, a CA form? Uh... So you are already in the catchment in Sutton? Uh, we are staying in Croydon. So we will be in catchment for Wallington. But inside catchment, it is only 15 seats for Wallington. So... Oh. Uh, rest all outside catchment. Wilson, I we are near to Wilson and Wallington. So whether Wilson any time they will consider this um distance in any case or it is purely mark basis. It is it is purely mark based. Uh, Wilson don't take care of this. They will only consider distance when there is the same marking for two kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how so how we should it rank? Two. Yeah, you still have two local schools, right? You have got Wilson, you have got uh, Wellington. Uh, yeah. In your reach. So yes. I think you, you should put uh, uh, certain ones first. And Kant, uh, uh, I think you are going to miss uh, all the ones based on outside catchment. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, if you move, then yes. Uh, you said how? What, what was the score? Three sixty two. Three sixty four. Three sixty four. So based on three sixty four, uh, again, it's it's quite on border for even IC as well for most of the super selective schools. Uh, but again, if you go for any non super selective, you you will get. It okay, uh, but other than Dartford, George, Skinners, uh, Tunbridge, I think they there were around like 365. It if it goes down, you might get it. You you never know. Uh, okay. but uh, yeah, you are in a typical uh <laughs> problem <laughs> problematic scenario. Uh but again, if you uh what about certain? How far is certain grammar from you? Uh, that is uh, uh, in uh, bus around 45 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Mm. So you have only Wellington and then Wilson. Wilson, nearby. But certain also, we can move. Um, if we get into certain also, we can shift the house. But certain also has got around... I think I'm, I'm not... Uh, 65 is, uh, places 60, are... Yes. I think 60 they have got, right? Yeah. Uh, 
yeah if you move inside then definitely there is a 100% guarantee that you one of uh, the school you will get but outside catchment certain 60 out of if we go near to certain school, Wallington will be outside catchment oh, yes, for us. Exactly, exactly. And you can't move now. That, uh, yeah, might be. We have to move within 31st October. Yeah, or... 31st of October is the last day, I think, for certain. Oh, uh, you have only uh, 10 days. Yeah. But uh, it's again, uh, Mon, to be honest, it's, it's uh, confirmed versus possible scenario. If you move into, catch, into Kent uh, to any other uh, city other than super selective one, you will 100% confirm. And if Can you, you give uh, some confirmed schools in, since it is six options, there are, if, if I'm putting first three, mm -hmm. these three schools, four, five, six, uh, um, I From... think one of the, if you can't move, then you need to put one local uh, project. Yeah, yeah, I am. And, and then two more from Kent. Yeah, two in the two more from Kent. Uh, I think the lowest you can put is Skinner because Skinner. that was 372 last year. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, you can also, uh, how do you remember the marks for your kid? Uh, you can put Wellington if uh, Wilmington if he has scored good in two of the subjects, like about two fifty eight. Okay, which are the subjects? It is. Uh, I think it is uh, English and uh, verbal reasoning. Forty eight. Yeah. Uh, there is no off wood uh, grammar school, so it uh, basically selected people like uh, around 40 miles uh, from its uh, current place. So that is one of the other uh, because they couldn't fill uh, the places. Okay, this is another uh, thing you can consider if you want to. Otherwise, can I put uh, means I will put any one of this Kent school and uh. Harris Academy, how about Harris Academy? Harris Academy, the local uh, Sutton one or which one? Yeah, the uh, Pearly, um, both are the Sutton and Pearly. Pearly is yeah, uh, they, near. Yeah, good. The so, Harris Academy one is, is quite good. I've heard about a lot. For okay. Him. Okay. But that will be your local state school, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. No, that makes sense. Um, yeah, because oh, we you, don't... you you are on the border, so I, I I'm also not like very much confident in giving the advice that this will work for you and this will not, because in the camp you are on the border and again uh, because being outside catchment for certain grammar, it's, it's put you in a typical scenario to be honest. Yeah. But let's uh, pray for the best and <laughs> so yeah. higher order in the ranking, and yes, he will get one of these definitely from certain. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Gaura. Cheers. 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 Um, and the question we have is, we have a confusion between St. Olive's and Dartford Grammar School. Um, so Dartford Grammar School, I mean, because this year is going to be tough, right? So we think he might get it after the waitlist moment. Um, so what we're thinking is to put Dartford Grammar School as first choice. Uh, but again, St. Olive's, is, he did well in the stage one and um, stage two is yet to be taken, right? So he still stands a good chance there. He's, he's putting hard work. Um, is it a good idea to do Dartford at, at the first as a first preference, so at least we be placed on the waiting list, and then Saint Olos, we believe he stands a good chance there. Um, uh, so at least, do, yeah. can you can you move to Orpington or not possible? Um, we live in Sitkop. So it's uh, it's about twenty five minutes drive from here. So it's I mean the commute is not a big oh, problem okay. for us. That's good. Yeah. So if that is the case, uh, put Saint Olo in the higher uh, ranking. 
order because Saint Olaf is far far better school. Uh, already you know that it is always in top ten, uh, top five. Academics wise, it's not massive different, but again, uh, Saint Olaf, uh, the results of GCSC and A level is quite impressive to be honest. And uh, if you compare the uh, the university progressions, especially uh, for Oxford and Cambridge, then you will see uh, quite a lot of like St. Olavians go to Oxford share uh, compared to, sorry, uh, uh, compared to Dartford. So that okay. is another major factor, amazing factor you can use. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, thank you for that. Just yeah. best of luck. I think the stage two. <laughs> hi, yeah, yeah. hi, Gaurav. Hello, yes. Uh, Gaurav, uh, uh, Krishna here, and uh, yeah, you're very um, patient, and uh, thanks a lot. God bless you for all your help, to be honest. Yeah, and uh, I have two boys, and my eldest son wrote the exam. We are, to be honest, everywhere we are in border. We may get, we may not get, mm -hmm. and um, we have choices, but only we have choices if we relocate. One mm -hmm. of the thing we is CSSC, and the other thing is Dat uh, Datford, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah. So, which one you recommend us to be honest? Because both we fall into, we may get anyone only if we relocate, but we don't know whether to move to Kent or to uh, oh, CSSC. What what were the what were the scores, sir? Score is uh, nearly three forties. Three forties. Uh, you are not gonna get uh, Dartford. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and CSSC. No, no, no. I mean CSSC. Dartford oh, is. Uh, CSSC. Okay. Yeah. 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 Dartford is approx. Uh, three three seventy eight something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So Dartford, again, uh, there is a possibility you might get it, you might not get it because last year I see was three seventy nine. Mm -hmm. uh, so if this because of this fiasco, the the seats allocation, if mm -hmm. the inside catchment score goes up, then you you might lose it because a lot of movements are happening because of Dartford boys. Okay. Uh, uh, but the confirmation you definitely will have uh, in CSSC based on three forty. So mm -hmm. you you will get, uh, but again, uh, can you move or you can't move even to CSSC as well? Uh, yeah, I need to take a decision whether moving here or there, but I'm happy to, yeah. to be okay. honest. So in yeah. that case, I think uh, Westcliff and South and you didn't do uh, Bexley or did you do? No, Bexley? no, Bexley, no. Uh, I think Bexley, if you haven't done, then uh -huh. uh, based on your can score, mm. you can apply to Bexley as well. Is it? Wow, yeah. fantastic. Uh, mm. So, but they do some conversions and they will tell you whether your score is actually above the uh, the lowest 214. Uh -huh. So if your the threshold is above than 214, then you are eligible for all the Bexley grammar schools as well. And then, right. uh, so now the, the thing is, uh, if you move to CSSC, you will definitely get Westcliff and South End. Uh -huh. uh, you move to uh, uh, what do you call uh, near Kent. Dartford, Dartford like yeah. Kent. Yeah. Even if you lose Dartford boys, then you can still get Baxley one. Uh, but you need to start that thread now with the Baxley. Right, Baxley, yeah. Yes, and uh, I need to check the relocation. Uh, Kent is a uh, December, isn't it, to relocate? But I don't know about Bexley. Eight, how it works? Eighth or twelfth? I think same is Bexley as well. Uh, is it? Yeah, something like that. So yes. Bexley do work in catchment, isn't it? Bexley work in the catchment, correct? And right. there, but again, uh, different school, different catchment criteria. So Bexley grammar is two point two miles. Uh, if you talk to uh, Baths, which is like uh, approximate 7.8 miles, and if you go for Tish, uh, Tish and Sid, it is somewhere around 2 miles. So it all depends like where are you based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So Colchester doubtful, isn't it? Kicks? No. no all yeah. right. Even Colchester, if you move, yeah. Colchester is... No. Uh, Colchester, you... 
for Chester. You might get it on 340. Mm. You might get it. Uh, yeah, I think you, you might get it uh, as well. So Westcliff. But again, if you move... Uh, well, Westcliff, okay. Uh, definitely, yes, Westcliff. Yeah. But what's your uh, thing is we are new into this, isn't it? And uh, yeah. of course, as parents, we are a bit nervous as well on these. And we overthink sometimes, you see. And uh, some outsiders may be able to suggest. What's your view on uh, Westcliff versus Dartford or Kent area? So, uh, so Westcliff is, uh, again, very good school, to be honest. Uh, mm. But again, uh, there are other lot of uh, circumstances which uh, I don't know, uh, which you know better about you. Mm. So I don't think uh, if uh, your kid goes into Westcliff and if your kid goes into Dartford uh, Grammar, mm. uh, how much the difference will be? Because uh, Dartford, if you go ranking-wise, is always in... Top 20, Dartford Boys. Mm, right? right. 20, top 30, always like that. So yeah. it always is performing well. But the problem is that your, your kid is all is also on the borderline. So he might get it and he might not get it. And yeah. that's actually where you need to start applying the, uh, the analysis, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you want to be in a possible scenario and you get to know on 3rd of March that your son hasn't got uh, Dartford Grammar and what is the next backup name? Mm. If Baxley says that yeah, we will, uh, your score is above 214 eligible and you are confirmed for the seat, then you might they might consider it. But on the other side, by moving into the catchment, you are straight away getting two of the very good schools and there that is with the confirmation. So now you need to think as a parent whether you can actually uh, have an un uncertain scenario where your kid might get Baxley, your kid might get Dartford or not. And if not, then what is the backup plan? And on the other side, you, you are moving into Essex and you are uh, getting two confirmed places. Or if you move to uh, Colchester, that is another option. Uh, maybe you get it from outside catchment as well. You never know. So you just need to weigh in these uh, choices, to be honest, Chris. Right, right, Garo. Yeah, okay. You you do your uh, analysis, and if you need any help, you you can ping me, mate. Sure, Garo. I didn't know about you, to be honest. And uh, <laughs> if I would have known you, I just came to know about you just today. Yeah. I think if, uh, what I will do in, to the email, I will also send the WhatsApp link. You can join yeah. us if you are not there. I think that will be helpful for you as a parent. Yeah. Yeah, please do because uh, I do have an younger son and uh, he'll be start preparing soon. And uh, we have to catch up where we missed on the elder one, to be honest. Okay. Hi, Chris. Can I just give a small suggestion for you on Exley side? Yeah, I got yes, better information on it. Yes, yes, yes. So if your son has got a good score in Kent, then a school which concerns is a Betts, Betts Boy School. Okay, that's a very good school. Yeah. Now, that far, the sitcom is not far away from Betts Grammar School. You don't even need to move. Just contact the Bexley Council and tell the, your score. And and that should, your score, whatever your score got, that should be enough for you to be qualified for Bexley. Uh, and then if you are five miles or six miles from that school, you'll just get the bets. You don't need to move anywhere. Uh, you're just relaxed. No, but, <laughs> but check right, with the right. council. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's right, right. What, what are all the two schools okay. you said? Sir, it's just, a, it's just a bets. It's just a bets grammar school. Okay, so, so, that's a good boy school. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The bats grammar school normally uh, have the catchment of around like uh, seven point five, seven point eight miles. Yeah, yeah. If you are in Sitkap, it's local for you anyhow, right? So that's correct. School, yeah. yeah. Right, right. So if but, even if you don't want to move, uh, Chris, what uh, Chris is suggesting that you can even go for Sitkap Grammar School as well, based on your backslay. Uh, yeah, yeah, they can uh, go. Yeah, yeah, that's what he maybe is suggesting. Right, yeah, right, so wonderful. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, cool. Hi, Goro. Yeah. I yeah. I have one question. Like, uh, if I need to choose between Dartford and uh, Colchester Royal Grammar, 
which one should be better in opinion of you? I think ranking wise, Colchester uh, girls is better than no the... boys. I'm talking about boys. Oh, the boys one, even boys wise as well. Colchester uh, boys one is better compared to the Dartford boys in ranking. Okay. Uh, but another thing you also need to uh, consider your proximity, your commute, all these things as well. Community wise, I think it, both the places are good. You can uh, live in Chelmsford, you can live in Colchester as well. But if okay. you are coming daily to uh, London, then it's a big, big no. Because it's it's a it's a big blunder if you try to come uh, to London from uh, Colchester. It takes oh. two and a half, three months. Three hours, so I won't suggest it. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Just, no yeah, yeah. Hi, Chris. Again here. Just on this Bexley and Kent Kent score. Yeah. Um, and if I fall under catchment there, will I be filling Kent form or Bexley? I think both are different, isn't it? Yeah, Bexley is different. Kent is different form. But again, uh, in the cap, you you just fill wherever you are local. So let's say you are currently living in Seed Cup. So you are already in the Baxley Council, correct? Right. Okay. So you will be just uh, putting all the details in your local uh, authority uh, CAPS uh, URL. Right, so right, I, right. I will, right. will send the details of that as well with the email which I am going to send. Fine, Garo. Right now we live in London. We have six, six, six options if we live where we are living now. In yeah. the, I think in the... Uh, I'm not 100% sure how many options we have got in Kent or Baxley. Let me, I think it is still the same six. Uh, Kent, no, Kent has got four. Uh, yeah. My, my, my mistake. I'm still surprised, sorry, Chris. Uh, you are in SITCAP and you should know like Baxley, they do the exam, right? I think they do for the, in the school itself for the kids. No, That's no, I'm not, in the, I'm not in the Baxley, no. Oh, you are in Sitkap and Bexley. They are both are. No, no, I, I live in I live in I live in Enfield. Oh, oh you yeah. live in Enfield. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, then yeah. you have to move I... then to Bexley as well. Yes, then. yes, yeah. And that's why what didn't I was you saying. Latimer. No, nah, see, Agaro, don't uh, don't uh, bring up that point. That's fine. It's it's a big <laughs> okay. thing happened. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. all right. We we are living here for last um, eighteen years, and uh, we are before marriage itself. To be honest, and right. we thought it is, but it's uh, I don't know. So I don't want to hope. So I'm preparing for the worst case, to be honest. No, definitely okay. makes sense. Makes sense, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Happy to help, mate. If you need any any other suggestion, just just uh, ping me or ping anyone in the group. Uh, they will be help quite helpful in the in the eleven plus group. Sure, Garo. Yeah. Good. Do we have more question, guys, or should? Uh, we... Yeah, Garo. Hello, hi. This is Nirupa. Yeah, Nirupa. Um, hi. I just want to ask about if you know uh, my daughter did well in. CSSC and Chelmsford as well. She's done really well. Yeah. Um, so as we're looking at a score for CSSC of 416 and then Chelmsford 200 and um, was 220. Lot of background noise coming in here, but I don't know what is what is this. Yeah, that, that's my laptop is really bad. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sorry. sorry. Um, mm -hmm. but the um for Chelmsford, she was in fact we are all out of catchment for all of these schools. Yes. Unfortunately, but for Chelmsford, she scored 120 and it was in category one as well. Right. Um, so I'm thinking it's safe, these two schools for, you know, for Colchester girls. She has a sibling already there in Colchester girls. And then um, for Chelmsford, she scored category 120. Yes. Um, would you say out of catchment, these are safe schools for her? Yes, CCHS, Chelmsford is, uh, you are going to get it based on category one and 120 because last year was 116 and, and uh, between 116 and then 17. The okay. other school which you said, uh, Colchester girls and how much yeah. score she got? 416. Sorry, what? 416. 416? Yeah. For CSSC or Kent you are referring? No, for Kent... Um... For Kent, she got. Oh, sorry. For CSSC, she got three seven nine, three eight. Oh, three seven nine easily. She will. She will get uh, Colchester girls as well. Even yeah, that's. Judgment. Yeah, so for Colchester girls, she, her sister is already there. So mm -hmm. I'm putting that as preference one. But I know that you mentioned that the Chelmsford was much better than the Colchester girls. 
No, not that much different. That's what I said, uh, Niru. Actually, uh, academically, both are brilliant schools, right? Okay. The, only, the only thing with Chelmsford County is that uh, it, when the kid is there, the the sixth form is actually better in CAGS because the teachers are very knowledgeable, especially in the A-levels. So the kids actually easily move from CCHS into CAGS and it is just, oh. just opposite roads, right? So very right. convenient for, for the kids to move. But if okay. you hear it in Royal uh, uh, Colchester, boys as well, like brilliant teachers, to be honest. So academically, okay. academically there is no massive difference. You are okay. talking about like... Uh, in Colchester County, uh, girls won uh, GCSC ranking. If you are considering eighty-seven percent, I think. Yeah, and yeah. Levels is around eighty-one percent. So it's if, all right. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 quite good. The only difference is in A levels in CCHS because the girls move to CAGS, so they get better A level marking. So in CCHS they are around eighty-five percent versus eighty-one percent of. CCHS, Colchester one, G, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Massive difference. Both are brilliant schools. So don't worry too much about it. If your oh, one kid is already going in Colchester, then yeah. the second kid just uh, send her to also CCHS, G. Yeah, I know. And because she scored so highly as well, I'm just yeah, thinking. Very good, score, very good score, I would say. Yeah. So in terms of that as well, in terms of the CAF, because I'm feeling I've got so many options because she's done well. Um, yeah. um, I was thinking of putting a Newstead Wood School as third option. Is that a good school to put down? Yeah. Well? yeah. Newstead, uh, the Orpington one, right? Yeah. But are you going to be moving into that area? No, that's what I want to ask because I've got, I'm, I looked at that school and she really liked it as well. So... Yeah. I'm confident she will get uh, called just a girls because she scored really high. Yeah. So, but in case, in case you get higher scores, more than 416 you get, and she gets bumped down a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm just a bit afraid uh, and trying to put, um, you know, Newstead Wood and then a Dartford but, Grammar Girls and then... Newstead, Niru, uh, the, the Newstead one, they already have got the... Uh, Cut off date, right? I think 31st of October, if I'm not wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah. Do we have any other parent uh, which can confirm it? Because I remember from top of my head, like last year was 31st, so I'm expecting it to be same this year as well. Oh, so I see. If, if that is the case, then there is no point of putting that. But again, if the CANT score is higher, then put Dartford Grammar. Or that maybe, Yeah. Okay, so there's Dartford Grammar and then there's Tonbridge and then Bexley. Would you say that would be the order to put uh, it in? So, uh, but again, where are you currently based? Sorry, can you tell me? Um, we're based in Chadwell Hill. <laughs> so we're out of oh, You are based in Chadwell Hill, then your Dartford is quite closer to you. I And then if you get Colchester, are you going to be moving to Colchester? Yeah, so if both the girls are there, obviously, then I, we would move. Yeah, if yeah both then the girls it. It, it, it makes sense to me, Niru. Uh, don't put, because uh, if you put the Dartford one and you, your uh, daughter will get it, then it will be a big trouble for the elder one, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so try to make uh, uh, it the uh, same place for both the girls. Of course, yeah. No, I'm putting Colchester girls' first option. That's no yes, doubt yes. about it. I'm, I'm, Fingers crossed she will get it because the score is really high. I'm right, just right. thinking. But I just have to fill six spaces, right? So, yeah. so in, in that case, Colchester and then CCHS. And if because you are in Chadwell Heath, you can also consider Westcliff as well then. Yeah, Westcliff is down at the bottom, isn't it? So that's why I didn't really look at that one. Okay, okay. So if that is the case, then you can put uh, Dartford Grammar and then you can put Bexley. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, number uh, keep one uh, local school and one maybe uh, you can choose Westcliff or South End or maybe uh, Wilmington. I don't know. And you. Okay. But you don't think that a Newstead one is uh, better to put as the? You don't think so. Uh, what's the point of moving it if you are not uh, uh, moving inside the catchment before 31st. That is the main point, actually, we need to find. If you are not moving and you are not considered at inside catchment, then they will straight away reject it. 
So yeah. Again, the strict uh, inside uh, catchment criteria, right? For new state as well. Mm -hmm. Even though the score is high, they will look yeah. at that. I, I don't remember they have published any, any OOC seats because that is strictly uh, council governed. Uh, but again, if they have done any change this year, which I might not be aware of because I haven't read the admission policy this year. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyway, I'm just going to go for the girls, coaches to girls. So brilliant. That, that is brilliant performance. Well done. I would say just give my blessings to the daughter. Oh, thank you so Amen. much. Thank you. Thank you for your time, by the way. You're staying over oh, time like this. It's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we just wrap it up in another 15 minutes? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Need to go to office. I also need to go to office tomorrow. Just tell me, sir. Vikram. Yeah, Gaurav Vikram. Yeah, yeah. So one correction, maybe I'm just saying, so now you have put number of preference three, actually it's six. Uh, but I will come back to my original question. So I live in a slow. Okay? Mm -hmm. so my son got 126 marks. Right? So we covered all four grammar schools. Correct. Langley. Correct. Upton, Herschel and St. Burnham. Correct. But I also come in the catchment of Buckinghamshire. So Burnham Grammar School, my son got 136. So he also covered in the Correct. Buckingham Shire. Correct. My son also cleared the Reading Grammar School, but anyway, right? It's not into the catchment, so chances are less. Yeah, yeah. And my son got in Kent 397 marks. Right, okay. So I need your suggestion what we should put if I need to move also. You know, it's a debate going on between my wife. You know, that is going on, right? Moving yeah. from Backshire to Ken, although I'm living in you know, Backsham from last 10 years. Mm -hmm. What you will suggest, uh, you know, considering the school, you know, not my you, personal things. To be honest, way. to be honest, you have got five confirmed places locally. Correct. You have got all the uh, Slough ones. You have also got Burnham. But, so you are going to get Burnham easily. I know that. You are going yeah. to get uh, all the four local Slav ones as well. Now the question is, you are already living in the place. You must have all, already family, friends and everyone there. Exactly. Right. And right. by moving to Dartford Boys, I think if uh, the most, most people case I can consider is either you move to uh, Dartford or you move to a place near Judd or maybe Skinner, I don't know. So if right. you move to Dartford, right, so there is a lot of things which you need to take care of. And uh, I know Burnham is very good school, to be honest. I don't know, uh, your preference is Burnham or uh, local language? My wife's preference is Burnham. Although rating-wise, if you see, it is 150, 140s around, you know. Hmm. But, uh, you so know, I've seen Langley, Upton, you know, they are so much academic, right? Correct. So much I could make. Burnham is, uh, you know, mixed, you know, 20%, wide, right. 80%, that way, and sports, extra, you know, extra calculator, they give. I know, but I, uh, we have, you have a uh, few kids last year, I think two or three of our kids joined Burnham. So mm -hmm. I, when I talk to the parents, uh, because normally we, I keep on talking to the parents to find out how the kids are doing. So they, they, they normally, the feedback which I got was very good. And even a yeah. couple of uh, kids uh, targeted Burnham this year as well. I think uh, three or four already got into the list. So this is a good school, to be honest. The main thing which you need to think about is, uh, gender is definitely one of the main thing uh, which you need to look into. The second thing is the extracurricular activities. All the grammar schools pretty much are same. All si yeah. similar kind of facilities. Some are a little bit advanced. Some are still planning to catch them up, some are still doing well. So there is not massive difference at all, right? The main thing you need to think about is a, a, a cultural environment where you your kid can go and excel. in, And he basically uh, just does better in the life. And uh, I think that's that's pretty much it, what we want from the grammar school as a, as a parent, right? So... Until unless if you if you were let's say uh, if you are comparing maybe uh, Wilson or QE or Saint Olaf with Dartford 
or local Burnham or all these, I think pretty much you are going to get the similar thing in Dartford boys. And the big thing you are talking about is and considering about is a big movement. Trans I don't know. You are you are renting or you have already bought the place there? Ah, we can move. I mean, it's flexible. Okay. Actually, yeah. And one thing, my you know, this is my wife. Right? She wanted to send to the co-ed school. So all slow and burn on their co-ed. Correct. You know, dark code is boys. So, no, it's Yeah, a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, that's the reason Vikram, I said, every point, every parent has got uh, different priorities. So last year, even I know a couple of parents whose kids were billion, they, they basically cracked all the super selectives, right? But ultimately, they ended up in the private schools. Because the, mm -hmm. the environment which they wanted to give to their kid, they couldn't find out in the grammar schools, right? Exactly. And they thought like it is too much academics. It's not two, academics. two of my colleagues, they pull out from the reading grammar school, which is ranking wise number eight. They pull out Correct. and they put it in the private school. Correct. They are asking me, do not send it to the grammar school. <laughs> you know, yeah. don't go run in the race. Yeah. You will no, come I, to know I later. I agree. Right. right. Yeah, as a parent, as a, as a current situation, you know, I am confused, right? Whether to send or not. Okay, I have taken the region, mm -hmm. you know, grammar school done. Okay, I understand from your range, you know, Dartford should not, we should not go. Mm -hmm. But if I need to choose between Burnham or Langley or, you know, Upton, mm -hmm. what should be my first preference? Like, academically, Lang I think ranking wise, Langley is uh, best in your local. And then you have Upton and then you have got Burnham. So th this is what the stats are telling, right? Exactly. Stats are telling everyone, you know, means I know 50 odd people, they are doing these stats. Only. Everyone. Correct. But, but you, you... <laughs> what you need to think about is now, you need to, because you know your kids better, right? And mm. you know what kind of environment your kid like better, how much he is having interest in the extracurricular activities, sports, academics, right? And then based on all these facts, you will start drawing the things. You will start making the Venn diagrams, maybe take a, a, a plain paper, start drawing the things which are must for your kid, which are kind of like normal for your kid and which are yeah. you can ignore. And then based on those facts, you will start mapping those requirements with the different, different schools. So that includes commute time, your house movement, all these things, with your jobs, your business, how, how will all these work out? Until unless you start noting them out in a plain paper and start mapping them with the target schools, it it's, it's will be in the confusion mode. But the moment you start doing these things practically, then the things will start coming up and then you will have more uh, like better approach as a parent and you will then straight away decide like these are the more practical things looking better for my kid and just go for it based on your hunch. Yeah. Yeah. So no debate is going on between my wife and me because we know we visited <laughs> all the grammar schools <laughs> infrastructure wise Burnham has a new new infrastructure new Correct. buildings yes. but when I see the ratings when well, it is down that is the only thing. Yeah, but because it's a new school, right? So, so normally, the if you compare it with the older school, they are already there from hundreds of years, right? Mm. So all these offsets and everybody knows about it. The locals, the new schools need to build their reputation. Mm. And it, it takes ages to build their reputation, Vikram, right? Mm. So that is another factor you which you need to consider. Okay. okay. So yeah. in short, in one liner, all... Slaw and Burnham, in your eyes, more or less are same. Right? More or less same. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Uh, Garo, I have one last question. You know, yeah. I'm going to give you my location, my scores, everything. Please suggest me what four schools I should put because I'm so uh, confused. So my daughter, we are in Hem and Hempstead. So yeah. we are in catchment for farm meters and SCD probably, but not for other schools in uh, Southwest Herd. As far as I know, my postcode is not in catchment, HP2 postcode. Yes. And so she scored 213 in Southwest Hertz. She scored 144 in uh, Chesham. And again, we spoke about uh, Chesham and, you know, uh, there's our bucks. Uh, we are not in bucks. So obviously you mm -hmm. said like it's not a good thing to put bucks because you're not uh, in bucks. 
most likely. Yeah, actually, and... that, Udia, you what you yeah. need to do is uh, like uh, Vikram was talking just about the yeah. the postcode wise. So in some of the cases, one of the postcode comes under more than one county uh, schools, right? So similar happens when you move to Dartford area. So you are into the Dartford catchment, and you are also in some of the Baxley catchment. So these oh, are... no, my, I am I am in London. I'm sorry, not uh, in Kent. I'm not in Kent. No, no, I'm, I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so, okay, yeah, sure. What you need to do for the Chasm, just quickly go and check their overall catchment area. Yeah. And see if you are your postcode is in that uh, uh, catchment area or not, because sometimes they overlap between the council as well. Right. Okay. Okay. So if you are not hundred percent confident, then go and just do. Maybe you can use locating.com or find my school. These are like yeah. some websites which give you all this information. Or even you can look for the government website as well for the school secondary. They will help. Yeah. You. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In look rating, I've been on look rating, and uh, right. you know, unfortunately, they they do take people from Hemel Hempstead, but not the area we are in. Like we are in Hemel, a bit okay. far from where they are taking. So I don't know if there is an chance. I no, I don't see it on the map on look rating. Okay. But so if, yeah. if it's not in the map, then uh, consider it as a edge case, which I think okay. the other parents also ask. Sure. That sure. Those, are, those are the special cases because of siblings or maybe. Uh, other uh, things which were uh, which they yeah out. okay I understand I, I think I get that now Slough she scored 115 I don't think uh, that she will be in because we are far away from Slough 30 miles so there won't be any chance in Slough right uh, any schools in chance Slough uh, normally Upton is the one which is quite uh, genuine like quite uh, flexible on the places but I don't think they they the lowest was 121 last year yeah, yeah, I saw that. So, okay, that's that's ruled out as well. So, so all we have is Kent and Southwesters probably then in that case. Bucks is ruled out uh, most likely and okay. Southwesters and Kent. Please check okay. it. Before ruling it out, just quickly okay. do, uh, do check. Go to the sure. Chatham, uh, county, uh, sorry, sure. the school site and look at the primary uh, catchment area. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, they, they, I mean, when I spoke, spoke to the admissions officer this morning, they were, they were like, we can't say it, but then we mostly take in Bucks area. We don't, you know, mostly we are in Bucks. Uh, very okay. unlikely, like we go out yeah. of Bucks. That that's what they were taking. And also, when I saw the statistics, it's like five miles max uh, from last so many years. It's just last year something was out of place and they took from nine miles. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, it's always five definitely, miles. This is definitely the edge case. Normally it happens. Edge case, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So with the Kent, uh, you were suggesting because she got 400, you said like Dartford girls, if you move in. Yeah. And uh, Tonbridge. No, even even and... outside, outside uh, catchment, you might get uh, again. But again, okay. we don't know because they increased the inside catchment seat and decreased okay. outside catchment seat. So from sure. 50 to 50. So we don't know where is it going to work because last year was 387 for yeah. catchment. So even oh, okay. I think 400 plus is still a safe score, to be honest. Okay. If, if she got 400 and the top three schools in uh, Kent are, you were saying Tonbridge, Tonbridge and the Darkford Girls, right? Or yeah, those yeah. are the top three. We have these to target like, like Yeah, these are, these are like most of the favorite schools as per the parents' ranking. This is what they say. And out of all, Dartford Girls is the most favorite of parents, yes, <laughs> I yes. guess. And <laughs> then then goes to Tonbridge and then Tonbridge? Correct. Both are almost the uh, same, but a uh, couple of parents normally prefer the connectivity, so they like Tonbridge better compared uh, to Tonbridge. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I think that clears most of it. And uh, now I can at least uh, put something on the cat form. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Gaurav. And again, before yeah, finalizing all these, Udia, just again yeah. do a bit of your research. And yeah. try to uh, map it with the with the actual preferences you have got for your kid. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I I'll do that. And uh, uh, you've been extremely patient uh, oh, for so many hours. You've been there. Last year, what actually so happened? Last year, the same cab session was uh, I think run for six hours. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking it's eleven o'clock and you're being still oh, you know, yeah, going on yeah, answering. Already. Thank you so much. Uh, no problem, you know, man. clarifying all this. Uh, do you. we still have any parent who want to ask, or should we wrap it up? I think we are. Yeah, hi, Oh yeah, Puja, tell me. 
I want to ask one question that yeah. uh, Colchester County High School for Girls is better or non such in Wellington? The certain girls' schools are more better. Which one is more better option? Oh, okay. Uh, ranking wise, definitely Colchester uh, comes higher, if I'm correct, uh, compared to non such. But again, uh, I think not major difference between non such and Colchester. But again, if you have the option between non such and Wellington, go for non such. Non such is much, much better. And uh, if you talk about the ranking, you can put first Colchester, then second non such, or you can put one first non such and then second Colchester. Because I don't see there is much difference academically. And also, non such girls. They, they do exceptionally well, even if you consider the university progression. So very good school, both the ones, there's no massive difference. It's it's only uh, the, the thing which really matters is the commute. If you can manage the commute for Colchester, that is also one of the best schools in, in UK. Okay, okay. Yeah, commute is not any issue. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for okay. your answer. So, thank you for your uh, Another thing is if you have multiple, if you have more uh, kids, then in certain you have multiple uh, schools, and in cert and in all Colchester you will have just one boy and one girl. So another that is another one of the point which parents consider. So it but is it like in uh, certain schools there is more competition compared to Colchester CSSC? Uh, there is a competition, no doubt about it. But you also have more options, right? So you have got three boys, two girls. So that is the thing. Uh, you still have like almost three times of the seats available. Okay. There is a competition, no doubt about it. And it's easy. It's, but still, uh, the competition is there in CSSC as well. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And I think the inside catchment is coming for Colchester boys as well next year. Uh, it, the things are being in talk. Uh, so I don't know. How will it go for uh, next year onwards. So that's it. Okay, thank you. Good, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you very much for giving your time. Uh, I hope yeah, it's helpful. Uh, is oh, there yes, sir, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Gaurav, I had just last one question. Uh, yeah, yeah. With uh, Madistone and the Grape Sand, which has uh, a good primary and uh, secondary school? I in think, Kent, I think Maidstone. Maidstone. Has Maidstone it. is a great, great town. To be honest, I have got few okay. properties there, <laughs> so that's okay. What I'm yeah. telling based on my experience. It's okay. a very local, uh, very good connectivity uh, with okay. London. Yeah, uh, so there in the Maidstone, I think there's two grammar. One is Invicta, and one right. is Maidstone grammar. So right. Both are both are in the same rank. Uh, no, there are three, I think. You have got Inv Invicta, you have got Maidstone boys and Maidstone girls. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about girls, sorry. Right. So, you have got two girls uh, and uh, I, Invicta is better than Maidstone girls. Okay. Again, uh, very good locality, all all the things, uh, very good uh, community as well, uh, quite mixed. And uh, I think culture-wise, I really like this town. Uh, Invicta. I yeah, okay. quite peaceful uh, town as well. Okay. Uh, rental wise, again, not that much expensive. It's it's good, very good place to be in, and uh, good local uh, state schools as well. Uh, okay. I don't and... know whether you've been to uh, the local school where they scheduled the Kant grammar exam this year. It was quite massive. It's very uh, okay. Sports so, and yeah. everything. Yeah. The Mayfield and the Invicta, which one would be the first choice? Is it Mayfield Invicta. or Invicta? Invicta. Invicta. Yes, that, is, that is a better choice among parents which I found. Invicta, they, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Garam. Good, guys. <laughs> Let's wrap it up then, finally. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I will maybe uh, sending you a small feedback form. If you get the time, please uh, provide your feedback. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Laura. Thank, Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.